Back to back in Apex, North Carolina, and a touch cooler on a Thursday. It's time for baseball. It's Apex Friendship taking on Green Hope for game two. And we're set to bring it to you live from behind the backstop on YouTube. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Patriots Baseball, along with Brian Bondet, Bob Flanagan, Jake Jenna. I'm Bill Martone. Coach Civitello and the Patriots with a marathon win last night against Cardinal Gibbons here at Patriot Park with Connor Payne and Noah Jenna as bookends on the mound of four pitchers. Phones, Byler, and Vondette all going over 500 at the plate with Vondette again carting three RBIs and the Patriots with a ridiculous walk-off 19-18 win in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Falcons also on a two-game win streak until Tuesday night when the Patriots gave them a punishing loss to break their streak. The Patriots have tamed the Falcons in game one. Can they continue to be the Beastmasters in game two? Stay tuned as it's all coming up next, live from behind the backstop. Patriots baseball. From behind the backstop, brought to you in part by Apex Friendship Patriots Athletic Club. Join the pack. And G Fiber, number one in customer service. Flanagan, welcome back, sir. Live and in person, safely returned yeah, from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, huh? let's get some. Let's go tonight. Can we not stay out here for four hours, though? Stomach full of rancid lobster? No, I had meatballs last night. Excellent. Well done. They were good, though. <laughs> All right, Brian Vondetta on the mic, on the hot mic. And I think we're missing one. Jake Jenna, you are our in-house statistician, actually. Look at Bill just whipping out. Hold on, Brian. We're going to switch you and Jake around so that you're not crisscrossing your uh, cords. You know, Jake is kind of a crisscrossing kind of guy. <laughs> he crisscrosses all over. Uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was watching him on the tube last night. Yeah, all over Game Changer. He's keeping us square and trying to beat Anthony 
to the punch on the stats. But hey, do we have our job. camera guys back? Unfortunately, our camera guy is indisposed this evening, but our camera is standing all by us lonesome connected at first base. Let me just say, that was awesome, being, being out of the booth last night and watching that. He really did an exceptional job. Yeah, there it is. We can see the flag, the concession stand where your uh, beautiful wife was keeping everybody happily with the three filled. bags of chips and a couple yeah. a couple bottled waters they had in, in the there. high yeah. school in the background. It's a gorgeous shot from behind first base. We just hope that we can get uh, a spare set of hands on it tonight so they can follow the action around the infield. Otherwise, we're going to bring you our typical steady center field camera off the platform just past the Patriots logo on the windscreen out in center field we have coach civitello and the green hope falcons coach with the one lone coach reitz coach reitz along with the one lone umpire out at home plate for a quick conference i do see a second umpire off to the right at the green hope dugout i think he was checking out our camera we got a cameraman well now he hopefully knows he's on camera he's got to do it right you know that's absolutely correct. On your way. So we're probably going to have a few moments here as uh, opening announcements happen, as well as possibly the national anthem. We're <laughs> going to take a quick break, break to pay a bill or two with a few of our sponsors from the channel, as well as uh, giving some recognition or rather some uh, attention to the upcoming AFPAC golf tournament at the end of the month. So we'll be right back live from behind the backstop on YouTube. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas design course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. I started the company not knowing I was ever going to start a company. Uh, so we were actually looking to build a house. We decided to build our own fence, priced out the materials, and did the job myself. If you're looking for great customer service at a great price, without jeopardizing quality, call Big Jerry's Fence. Upgrade to Google Fiber and pay one simple bill every month. What about extra fees, like installation? Taken care of. Equipment? No. Data overages? There's no such thing. Find out when we're coming to your neighborhood at fiber.google.com. Welcome back to Patriot Baseball from behind the backstop on YouTube as the Patriots take on the Falcons in game two of two of the regularly scheduled conference season. That is the Southwest Wake Athletic Conference here in central North Carolina. We are coming to you live from Apex, North Carolina, just behind Apex Friendship High School. Prior to the game, Anthony Parada, our executive producer, and I were running around the field trying to get some nice shots of the facilities here at Patriot Park. Just to give you some ideas of what it looks like if you were here live and in person, the new scoreboard, thanks in part to Mark Patience and the AFPAC board, as well as some views from close up around the infield. And really, to say that all of us uh, are extremely proud and thrilled of the condition of the facilities this year is an understatement, as a lot of hard work has gone into preparing the entire facility. And of the latest addition, 
here coming to you from a very generous Pete Sirisol and his father-in-law. A new helmet and bat rack in the Patriots' dugout. New today, the Patriots getting to use that before any paint has even been applied. So a terrific addition to an already beautiful, beautifully freshly painted dugout. Thanks in part to Jason Ramirez. And as always, prior to the games, hard to see here a little bit, but Bob Flanagan giving us some leaf blowing of the dirt out of the dugouts to make everything look spiffy and clean. So thank you for tuning in to Patriots baseball. We got Bob and Brian trying to chime in. I didn't have your mics on, gentlemen. Sorry about that. Right now, Jason Ramirez is giving us some reads on the players who are going to be participating in game two. We already got our sponsorship commercials out of the way after the remainder of the, pa of the Patriots are introduced here. We'll probably get a national anthem in. Time to play ball. All right. Starting pitcher on the mound for today. Owen Searsall. Owen Searsall and the Patriots having taken the field. They'll be warming up here in just a moment. We're going to take a look at the starting Stats for Mr. Sirisol, three appearances, a win and a loss with an ERA of 2.71. He has an opposing batting average of 3.40. He's faced 49 batters, eight strikeouts, given up two walks on seven and two-thirds of an inning pitched. And from there, we'll take a look at the starting lineup of the Falcons for today. Leading off, Jason Krebs, batting second, Mason Dean in the three spot. Adam Safarikas, along with Ryan Liu in the cleanup position, in the power position. Isaac Nitzkowski, DHing for Shoresman, the third baseman. Ryan Pore, Blake Vestal, Harrison Brewer, and Dylan Johnson at the bottom of the Falcons lineup. People are just flooding to come in here today. We got a big crowd move coming in. Yes, I'm do. glad I, I blew off the uh, walkway so I don't bring dirt into my field. Anthony Parada, our executive producer on the switcher today, giving you a variety of views around the park from behind the backstop, from the sides of the mound, out to center field. I'm talking fashion. He can find them to our first base cam. That's just static, but a beautiful shot all the same with the flag blowing in the background. And right now, about to lead off. This guy's a good player. 
Krebs. Yeah. Jacob Krebs. Yep. West Rally alum. First pitch hits Krebs and well, uh, that right, that wrong, or indifferent. everybody the setting the tone. Uh-huh. Set the tone. Yeah, that's that's right. No one's going to be comfortable in the yeah. batter's box. I'm all right with that. If we really feel like it, we might throw another one right now. No, let's don't, shall we? <laughs> no. With that, we are underway. <laughs> Runner on first after one pitch. Sirisol, the southpaw. Platooning in right field between the mound and right field. Batting in the middle of the lineup. And it gets the other. <laughs> from, gets who, one from each side of the comment? plate. Who made that comment? I think <laughs> it's a gentleman to my left. <laughs> All right, let's don't make that visit yet. Unfortunately, Coach Civitello feels compelled to go talk to the Southpaw starting pitcher. Two pitches, two hit by pitches. Was that Pete down the left field line that just threw his arms up in the air and started walking away? <laughs> Quite possibly, <laughs> as fathers of players of and pitchers, pitchers ourselves, yes. uh, you know how those things can go. Obviously, Coach Civitello trying to help the younger Cirasol shake it off and get refocused, not let it become an overwhelming part of his thought process. Always would love to know what is it that he just said to Owen when he got out there, other than don't hit the next guy. <laughs> he probably just said, hey, you owe Buster one, because now he's going to lead off the next inning. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. maybe he just said, just throw, <laughs> yeah. just throw strikes. I'm being yeah. nice there. Yeah. No, I, it, that's fair. All right, third pitch of the game coming up with runners on first and second. Not how anybody anticipated the beginning of this broadcast. I think we made the umpire mad. Did he turn around and give us a look? He did. Oh, I didn't notice. I was looking away. Runners go. Well, that's a way Throw to get down out. down the third, and we got an out. Oh, wow. Oh, real... whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa is right. How was that not out? And Nice throw, JJ. Right there, I mean, Jen Steiner the, trying to. He have to move his glove. It's interesting. I wonder if he's saying he missed. He definitely didn't beat the throw, so maybe maybe missed the tag. I don't know. Ball on the pitch. Gene oh, Steiner, my father, the two usual suspects watching from hey, North Dakota and Florida. If you guys remember last Friday when Sear Soul pitched, he started out everything was high yeah. in that first inning, but then he really settled down, and they didn't do anything to him. Ball had a lot of movement on it. It did. 3-1 count, no outs, runners second and third. Top of the first inning if you're just joining us. You haven't missed Good much. Pitch. See that ball, Brian? Yeah. Again. Yep. Safarikas, the catcher, swings at a breaking ball that goes across into the other batter box. Batter's box. Uh -oh. yeah, I don't know why it needs that extra S in there. Good pit. Uh. I look down. Please tell me that's ball four. Ball four, yes. I know. <laughs> I was going to say, did it hit him in the foot? Now batting right fielder, number three, Lula. Well, we got a force anywhere here. Good pitch. It's almost like he wasn't warmed up enough. You know it what I mean? Be. It's a touch cooler today than it was yesterday at game start. Not nearly as windy just yet, or at least as it stands, but you're going to jinx this. I know. What are you uh, talking about? That? I'm, not, I'm not superstitious. You guys like to say this oh, stuff all man. the time. I'm just kind of just the facts, ma'am. Good pitch. That Good. pitch, that pitch right there is working for him. He's gotten yeah. a lot of swing and misses so far. And the ball's breaking out. And it's breaking, it's breaking out. away exactly. from a right-handed batter. If he can stay there, he'll be just fine. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm really not that worried. Right about Right fielder it. Ryan Liu at the plate. 
connects on one that goes out of play. Two ball, uh, I'm sorry, one ball, two strikes, no outs, bases loaded. Top I liked what J.J. Inning. did that time. He was on that outside part of the plate because the ball's – he hasn't hit it yet. Sirisol steps away. Oh, he did. And he balked. He did. Stepped off with the wrong foot. So what's the order of operations for stepping off, Bob? Right, left foot first. Even as a right-handed? It doesn't matter. Left really? foot first. Hmm. Always the left foot, whether Always you're a righty foot. or a lefty. Yeah, he did start to rock, actually, watching yeah, the replay it right could, here. It could have been a couple of things, but. Fly ball, Deep right break. field, backing up. Bloom, or, uh, patience gets it into the cutoff. Another run will score. So a quick two-run lead for the Falcons in the top of the first inning. It's all right. An, uh, is that considered an, an E1 on a balk that scores a run, an unearned run? No. How's no. that going? No, to not an error. No. It's, no. it's just, just a balk. balk. Just a balk. Yep. Yeah. But an unearned run? Unearned. Yeah. Unearned, yes. yes. Well, it's unearned because he hit him too. <laughs> So glad the Gator is out live and well during the broadcast. Next pitch. Good pitch. Gets the hammer. Ooh, he waited about three seconds to call that. Isaac Nitz. He can wait as long as he wants, as long as he calls the batter. <laughs> Another good pitch. Sirisol's fastball has a nice little bit of movement at the it's, last it's pitch. It's tailing away from the right-handed batter. And J.J. behind the plate, see where he's at now? Perfect and there spot. There it is again. Hard Perfect for those right-handed batters. Perfect he, spot. He knows off. what he's doing with this. Right. Yep. That's, Nit that's a great job. Nitzkowski back to the dugout. And the third baseman, Harrison Shoresman. Pere. 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 I just heard, I heard somebody else. Ryan Pere, number 26 on the jersey. First pitch, swing and a miss. I throw that pitch again. Yep. I Last time I listened to Jason. Yeah. Good pitch. And you know you got a good Poray. catcher that's going to stop it. Batting 500 coming into the game. Ooh. Has 13 plate appearances. Has. We got the marching band here today playing. Grounder just past uh -huh. a reaching Sirisol. Phones to first, and that's a third out. There so you the go. Patriots. All right. A quick two-run hole that they'll need to recover from in the next six and a half innings. God willing, it's not three and a half hours uh -huh. before that uh, plays out like it did last night. If you joined us here, it was a – marathon of a game back and forth and i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna just say it. a ridiculous score baseball it's unheard of to be close to 10 runs let alone closing in on 20 for each team so sorry if you find that you know uh frustrating as a fan of the patriots but both teams the the card the uh what, what's the name? The Crusaders last night and the Patriots just giving away runs constantly to each other back and forth for a variety of reasons that just plainly, that is not good baseball well, here's across the, thing. the board. Here's the thing, Bill, to your point, which is a very good point. Some of the things that I say sometimes, I'll, I'll stick with me, uh -huh. that I say, I know all these boys. Uh -huh. They all have played very high-level travel. They've played showcase. They've done very well. A bunch of them are, are committed to go to college and play. And they're good baseball players. All of them are. Mm -hmm. Are very good baseball players. When I made my comment about the mediocre pitching, if my son were pitching, I'd have said the same damn thing. Because it was. But it wasn't the only thing. I think there was other avenues in the infield, or the outfield. But we. I'm just saying, I'm not apologizing. But I will tell you, they were a lot better than what they showed yesterday. You can't give up 18 runs just because just, just because Cardinal Gibbons missed an extra point. Quick read of the friendship starting lineup. We got Buster Bloom followed by Brady Byler, Steiner, Vondette, Payne as the DH for Chachio, Cannon, Sirisol, Phones, and Patience from top to bottom in that lineup. Taking a quick look at the defense for the Falcons from left to right. 
in the outfield, Krebs, Dean, and Lou. On the infield, from third to first, is Shoresman, Johnson, Brewer, and Pore. And, of course, catching Vestal is Safarikas behind the plate. I was on. No, I'm saying Coach Dean here in the dark. Oh. Did you see it? Did you see anything? Well, I did. While Vestal is finishing his warm-ups, the segment in the show that Bob always enjoys, a quick weather read from our very good friends at Big Jerry's Fencing here at Patriot Park, 63 degrees at game start with, uh, you know, pretty easy three to five mile an hour winds out of the southwest with a even that. dry 22% humidity. Makes for a very comfortable day. So just to start, the home plate umpire having a conversation with the starting pitcher, and I've lost track of what exactly is going on. Does anybody? So what it, we're all whispering, guys. You might as well just no, chalk I, it up. You know, it was, suggested big boys. That, it was suggested that the coach – the umpire was telling him, do not hit the batter because he hit two of yours. Yeah. I don't think that's the no, case. I don't either. I, I think. I think it had something to do with the glove. I bet it's the glove. Of the glove? Yeah, okay. multicolor of the glove, having him switch it out. Is he switching the pitchers? No, he's, no. He's switch, they're switching gloves. So pitcher and left fielder are going to switch. That's, that's uh, exactly it. Yep. Vestal and Krebs are being yeah, good you know, teammates. Though, the umpire's looking for stuff there. They're, Come yeah. on, man. He's looking for stuff. Let the kid. Well, a couple of things you do to help the batter out, right? So, you know, no white sleeves underneath. You make yeah. sure they're not. they don't have tape. Multicolor <coughs> glove. Oh, and that glove looked old. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it, was it, wasn't, things, was it, it wasn't deflecting off the sun. It wasn't right. looking on, like dude. Trevor Bauer's Listen, gloves. Good yeah. umpires are the yeah. ones you don't hear from. Uh-huh. I'm just saying that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a little leftover lunch on the uh, – <laughs> That's a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I just cleaned this thing. It's all right. That Anybody who's not here in the Capital District of North Carolina outside of Raleigh, it is full-blown pollen season right now. If you have a car any other color than green or a hue of green, first pitch, fly ball, center field. Oncoming is Dean and... One pitch, one out on a fly routine fly ball into center field. It's a good way to start it. I meant to tell you guys. So our scorekeeper, Rob Brockman, was saying the umpire turned and faced our thing and was going like this. And I'm like, okay, we didn't do anything wrong yet. <laughs> Still yet. a lot of game left. <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, if that marching band would just get a little louder, we wouldn't have to worry about being overheard. First pitch now to Byler, fouled off into the woods. Hey, he swung the bat real well the last couple of games. Oh, he's been place hitting Byler's excellently. Been yeah. He's, yep, yep. For that matter, Byler, Ooh. of the most active players in the lineup, is leading in batting average at 536 with – 38 plate appearances and 15 hits, two RBIs. Well, I feel like Anthony put down the uh, the gauntlet last night, pulling out some stats out of left field and threatening my duties as statistician. So I, I came prepared with a little nugget for you. Beautiful. Read them Through up. this three-game win streak, the Patriots have put up 30 hits. Sorry. Byler chases a high one two fastball. Safaricus going oh, to run whoa, at him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that the, was close. The ball bounced, to, what, about three feet past the backstop, which is probably 40 feet tall. Nearly hit I'm a spectator here. Yeah. I'm glad to see the spectators behind her moved. Yeah. <laughs> and the spectators <laughs> they, they just still have it literally moved. just come straight down yeah. on top of the spectators. I thought it was going to hit the camera that's on the inside of the fence here. <laughs> All right, well, here you go. So through the last three wins, the Patriots have put up 51 hits. Right. And 48, 48 runs. Byler pulls oh. the next pitch down the left field line out of play. Good swing that time. Yep. 
Filer is at eight walks, three strikeouts. On base percentage of 639, slugging 535. On base plus slugging, 1.175. You know, if the weather could stay like this, this would be all right. You guys looked cold last night, by the way. It didn't. It wasn't didn't feel too bad until really that, that sun drop. Yeah. 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 Well, well, that's because you were six hours into the game. Byler is hungry for a hit. He's putting the bat on the ball, all over the place. Two balls, two strikes, one out, nobody on. Bottom of the first inning. If you're just tuning in, a little rocky start for the Patriots in the. Top of the first with two runs allowed. Byler on the left side gets Base it hits, through, through. Right past both the third and. That's called a seeing eye single. <laughs> Shoresman and Johnson unable to get to it. Krebs had to come up behind them, so Byler reaches on a seeing eye single through the left side of the infield. Stan Brothers, Stan and Cali Brothers from Lake Gaston, another usual suspect, as is Craig Montour. From Tacoma, Washington. Like Washington State? You got it. All right. Out near Mount I, Rainier. I, I dig that. Yeah. Welcome. Very good friend of ours, godfather to our daughter, and a uh, budding nature photographer has made multiple trips out to uh, safari in, in Africa, South Africa, and just has an amazing Instagram page. I should put a link to that. To mm -hmm. help uh, bring some exposure to his yeah. skills and abilities, it's really impressive. Does he wrestle? Does he wrestle lions when he goes on these safaris? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he's smarter than that. Can he ride a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> he is a marine. Once a marine, always a marine. What is with this? Steiner man? pops it up. Safaricus just before the warning track makes it two outs. Byler stays put on first. Got to have our number three hitter putting the ball in play. And he knows that. You can tell he's upset with himself. Yep. <coughs> Boy, this pollen is just sticking in my throat. I have to constantly mute myself to clear my throat. It's going to be a rough day at the office. So you got your number four hitter up here. What do you think, Brian? You stealing Brady? Two well, outs. Yeah, two, two outs. outs. Get him in scoring position. On the left-handed Vestal. Oh. First pitch strike gets the hammer. <clears throat> Emily Mora joining us. Thank you, ma'am. All of a sudden, my cord is getting. A lot of room out there in the right center gap. Yep. So usually I think you do this on the second pitch. Mm -hmm. So. Interesting. Get off that base. Oh. Safarikas holds it. Wow. Tries to subliminally. I'm afraid to say something. Suggest. He just threw me out. <laughs> Craig Montour would like you to know, Bob, he's stronger than a lion. Nice. Pick off to Byler at first, not in time. Shoot, Kinda he wasn't even off the base yet. Yeah, and hey, by my little speech earlier, let's not forget, I am the reigning Homer Award for the Patriots. So just want everybody to remind reminded of that. Bondette with a swing and a miss. <coughs> Come on, JJ, see the ball. Let's go. Ball. It's all right. Yep. Don't count for anything. Let him read. Get he's, him back into his rhythm. He seemed pretty geared up for that. I was like, take a deep breath, dude, mm -hmm. and hit the ball. Mm -hmm. Vestal at 15 pitches as he works on the fourth batter in the lineup with two outs and a runner on first. Vondette on a tear as of late. Sees it, and a line drive just in front of the oh, come on. Come on, come on, come Jason on, come on, come on. Krebs and Byler. Cut that Byler. lead in half. 
Cut going that lead to turn. in half. Byler's going to be down head first across Sir. the plate. An RBI double for J.J. Vondette tag teamed with Brady Byler coming up with a pant full of dirt. <laughs> Brady needs an oxygen tank. <laughs> he was on a horse of sorts. He was That was good. He ran well. He yes, really he did. did. Coach Civitello being aggressive at third base, sending the senior second baseman into home plate. That was a good call, actually. You know what? Make them make a play. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a good call all the way around. Yeah. In all fairness, Bob, if you're going to call the good plays, you'll have to call the bad yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. <laughs> you do. And, and you know, I. Um, as fair as I am, I think it's fair to allow for that. Obviously, our opinions are our own. They are not intended to be insults or personal attacks on anyone uh, whether it's an umpire, a coach, a player, a spectator, you should not a commentator. Criticize if you don't think they can do it. And that's if exactly they can it. Do it. That's exactly it. These can, are all you, you should, they, and they all can yeah, do it. They are all yeah. very capable. Yes. Hence they're at this level. I mean, that's extremely right. competitive level here in Wake County. This is an above average level of competition nationally speaking. Right. Well, they, Luke they Hemmerich. play in all those all those those big showcases, all of them. Absolutely, do. they all have. Absolutely, so they, and they know better on some things. So, I feel like you can say what you want, but you should also compliment them too. Yeah, as you do, as you do. That's all I'm going to say. One one with two there outs and a runner on second. Connor Payne at the plate. Good luck. Good Best luck. old deals. A fastball that rides up high. You know, one thing I noticed about about Connor when he keeps his feet still. He drives the ball yeah. as well, if not better, than anyone on the team. Watch his feet. Sometimes he'll move them, and then the next pitch he'll stay still and drive the ball. Batting 500 coming into the game, second only to Brady Byler. Have a handful of other players who have only had a very few number of plate appearances that Ooh. are batting 1,000. Those should go noted. Clifton, Brown, and Santa Bria after Tuesday's game all got the opportunity to make plate appearances all got the opportunity to put a 1.000 in their batting average. So good for them, the Patriots. And here's Connor Payne back at the plate, steps away. So in the offseason, I tried my darndest to get a hold of somebody with the marching band to be able to get recordings of their work because I would love to play it during the broadcasts. Here you go. Would that not be great bumper yeah. music coming yeah. in and out of commercial yes. in the beginning? Like. Uh, soft roller to third, but the pitcher picks it up, and he gets the third out over at first. After one, Patriots cut a two-run deficit down to one, so two to one in favor of the Falcons right now. After one, we're headed into the second here at Patriot Park. We'll be back. I started the company not knowing I was ever going to start a company. Uh, so we were actually looking to build a house. We decided to build our own fence, priced out the materials, and did the job myself. If you're looking for great customer service at a great price, without jeopardizing quality, call Big Jerry's Fence. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas Design Course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. Welcome back to Patriots Baseball. Game two uh, against the Falcons of Green Hope High School. 
This time here at home, Patriot Park. A triple header week, if you want to call it that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we were here live last night against the non-conference Cardinal Gibbons Crusaders. As we return to the top of the second inning with Owen Searsol on the mound. First two pitches to the leadoff batter, Vestal, miss the strike zone. Bob, you get your extra, you get your steps in whenever we broadcast. You are in and out of the booth more times. I'm than working, I'm working the crowd. Working the crowd. <laughs> working the crowd. All righty. Trying to talk to all the parents. I get them on my side. There you go. <laughs> after you piss, after you upset them. Yeah. Two ball, three balls, one strike, no outs on the leadoff batter. The I only got pitcher. a couple more to go, Bill. By the way. <laughs> yeah, you got another. <laughs> oh, I got the left field fence. Two thousand nine hundred other people down there. Fly ball, center field going to drop in in front of Chachio. That's good baseball. A clean base hit. Chachio playing in a decent position. Not much I just you don't do appreciate about that. you saying that because you've hurt my feelings. Well, <laughs> okay, I know you, you're you too. I know <laughs> no you're wrestling uh, matches here. Being sarcastic? <laughs> Bob would win. Being sarcastic? He's got a weight advantage on me. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, this John Mayer wrote this song about me, you know. You know what the song is? My body's a wonderland. Yeah, <laughs> and and um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. no we comment. Don't go. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Eesh. Am I going to get in trouble for that? Though? You are. <laughs> is, some, is somebody going to complain? Do you think? No, I think um, my wife might complain. Well, yeah, she'll keep you in order. Thankfully, somebody needs to. Uh, about twenty-five or so people watching. Please let us know. Chime in where you're watching from. What should I have for dinner tonight? Let me know. I'm home. Well, we have a trivia question for you, Bob, a little bit later. A tempted bunt fouled off, and uh, I didn't say anything to, to Owen Ricicci, our camera operator from the other day, but uh, he first thought he wasn't going to be able to show up, and lo and behold, he was able to take care of business, whatever that was, and he's here manning our first base cam like he did the Excellent. other night. I'll tell you, the first Take base off. camera and the center field camera last night were outstanding. I'm going to hold on to the uh, provided trivia question until about the third or fourth inning. The runner goes, the throw down, and that got him this time. No yeah. questions, doubt. J.J. Yeah. Vondette looking like uh -oh. a catcher. Uh-oh. What? what are we? Uh -oh see, see their third base coach? Oh. He just yelled at the first base coach, what are you doing? Well, Disagreement between coaches, that's up to them. We're here to bring the story really? to you. As long as I'm not involved. Really? Somebody's going to get upset yeah, well, about he's, that? He's, yeah, but he, maybe not do it there. Say, hey, did you see something? That, did you think I did something or what? Did Jake, did we run him out of the booth? Yeah, he was being a little claustrophobic. Oh. Will his court reach down there? It might. Fly ball. Left center. Chachio runs He's around the it. back of it, shades himself, and gets under it for and out. Good job. Two away. And that was beautifully played by Chachio. Yes, it was. Right? Yeah. Excellent depth. Gave him enough time to get behind it and then come in maybe a half More or two steps. He shaded the sun. That's right. Mm -hmm. That was a nice yeah. play. You could see him kind of ducking down, glove up, keeping the sun behind the glove. And... Jake, you're going to make this impossible. We got cords going one way and then the Grab other. Grab all the short. Hold on, Jake. There you go. And a that third a boy. out for the inning as the Patriots here Perfect. as we move. All right. Trying to cover up some of that... Uh, music that we're not supposed to allow to play. Two to one game in the middle of the second. Falcons given two runs in the top of the first. Bob, is that a fair assessment? Well, I think 
You know what? We, we I kind of mentioned it earlier. Last week, Owen was high, starting the game in the first inning. Pitches. And, and pitches. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, and he was high. And then this, and he did the same thing again. He just hit two people. But then he settled down. He went five innings last Friday and was terrific. And, you know, now he's he settled down into a groove yeah. and yep. doing the same thing. So that's all right. I mean, that just comes down to maybe a little bit more warm up in the bullpen beforehand. That's all. It's simple little things like that. Mm -hmm. This ball's got a nice tail on it to a right-handed batter. Yep. Owen's grandmother, Sue Miller, tuning in today on, on behalf of uh, her grandson. I'm sure she's fully aware, I believe it was her husband, to help construct <coughs> the new bat and helmet rack in the dugout. Thank you for that. That was absolutely tremendous. Yep. Uh, amazingly generous in the time and effort it took to put that together in short order. Pete, Owen's father, and Owen's grandfather knocking that out like they were professional carpenters. I, I'll tell you one thing. Siv it asked, might be. Siv asked that they were <clears throat> was telling him that he was retired, and Siv, Siv and I were both talking like, well, listen, if he's got free time, <laughs> Siv's probably got a list of stuff that he could add to him. Siv started laughing. He goes, I do. There's a couple of things we could do here. Bryce Cannon mm. just fouled off the first pitch. Let's see if he gets another fastball to drive. Vestal like deals a soft fly ball and it's right at him. Yep, right to Dean. Boy, that came off his bat like, and Dean's fairly <clears throat> deep, and that came off of Cannon's bat. I thought it was going to drop he just in got shallow. A under it. That's but why it carried it was so high, yeah, the point yeah. I was going to make. Yeah. I don't know if you know. Looking at the flag, it's swirling. It's not like yesterday yeah. where it was standing out. Um, so how much of an effect? that hat on the ball to carry but boy it looked effortless from uh, Bryce Cannon one out one away bottom of the second inning Vestal deals there's a base hit good job Owen turns on it pulls it into left field for a single gets himself on first with one out <coughs> phones after this pinch running uh, Tino. Ramirez, Tino Ramirez is going to get the pinch run. Good wheels on first. For the starting pitcher. Phones has been on a tear at the plate himself. <coughs> Home plate umpire asking for clarification. Uh, just to let it be known, Phones, <coughs> excuse me, uh, batting 500 on 14 plate appearances with two RBIs, six hits. Come on, dude, get in there. And a double. Yeah. Not the batter. I'm talking about the ump. Yeah, that's who I was it talking It wasn't about. the It wasn't Hayden. Ramirez on first. Vestal deals inside on Ooh. phones. That, oh, little he overthrow does, I, I by Safaricus. You, you know, when, you, when you're learning the umpire, what he does and doesn't do, he does not call anything on the inside part of the plate. <coughs> but he does call everything on the outside. Because that was a strike. JJ told me that last night's game, that the guy that was uh, the home plate said he's the best one that he's ever seen. Really? Yeah. He said he was just he was a little bit personable, and he just let him do his job. Phones looked like he was ahead on a off-speed pitch. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. There's a base Pulls hit it through the hole. seeing eye single hole. <laughs> Good job right there. Well, we got one out. One out, two on. A one-run deficit in the bottom of the second inning. We have about just about 30 people, as I'm reading this, who are tuned in. Brandon well. Patience up. Good wheels here. Mm -hmm. You think about bunting him? Mm -hmm. Make the third baseman field it. But he's got good wheels. He'll beat it out. Oh, he will. Or throw a wild pitch. That works, too. Yeah. The Patriots lineup has been productive basically from top to bottom as of late. A little bit quiet starting off the season. I don't want to call Franklin in the start of the season because yeah, that, that, that was a I scrimmage. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and now we got the W for it. Yeah. yeah. That, that was a very lopsided mismatch. But since then, 
A little bit soft start now, however. Get over his head. Right over and drops in, in for another yep. single. Coach Siv is going to yep. hold That's up smart. Ramirez. Yeah. Yep. Too many feet out there. But I love the aggression. Ramirez came around. Water coming up too. Ramirez yep. came yep. around third yep. with yep. all the intention yep. and just kept an eye on Coach Siv in case he gave him the green light. But the, and the other good thing is why that's a smart play is you're only down a run. There's only one out, and you've got top of the order. Buster up. So, And a dude that can run like lightning. Right. And Tino's got good wheels yep. on third. So yep. Yep. anything happens here, you're going to score him. There's no sense in sending him home on that. Correct. We've got the momentum. We don't want to turn that off. <coughs> Breaking ball off of Safaricus. If I remember earlier in the week, he's a pretty good catcher. He is. He's, he, he is. He really blocked some balls. He had some great throws yep. down yep. Tuesday. Quick release. Yep. And can't recall what he did at the plate, but I think he, uh, between he and Krebs, I think they doubled up uh, on a couple hits. Vestal tries to stay outside on Patience. Uh, Bloom, I'm sorry. Patience down on first. Patience got a hit. Yep, base is loaded. Buster Bloom up. Top of the order. Bloom 0 for 1. Oh. He gets a hold of one. That one's going deep into the outfield. Not but deep enough. Routine fly ball in a yeah. park that's 380 feet deep. There Ramirez you go. tags. Gets, gets a man in. Sack RBI. Sack fly RBI. That is great baseball great right baseball. there. Right? Yeah. Base is loaded. Get it up in the air, deep in the outfield. <coughs> An impressive. There we go. That's the, the productive type of batting and offense the Patriots have been showing, what, in the last week now, since last Friday? That's baseball. That yep. is. That's how it should be played. Mason Dean has his work cut out for him, as does Drew Chaccio in center field. It is a deep park. It is unforgiving. 380 feet in high school is a lot of ground to cover. Ah, uh, they're big babies. They can hit it. And if just you, kidding. If you, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding? <laughs> just joking. And if you give it away, you are giving up, quite frankly, triples, not just doubles. Awkwardly off, Byler's bat toward the right side in our first base camera. Hey, you did forget to mention that we also have Rob Brockman doing our scoreboard down here. I did yesterday. Mr. Brockman was on it all day yesterday. Give us a wave, Rob. For all of those, not that we have a camera on you at the moment. but Sure the scoreboard's right? Okay, just checking. Well, with a score like last night, you run the risk of getting he, carpal tunnel. Yeah, he was working those <laughs> buttons. He was working those buttons all day yesterday. I thought he was going to pull the trigger on that. Uh -huh. Accurate as could be. I don't know that I saw pitch. one mistake. Yeah. Like hittable. Two balls, one strike, two out. Runners first right and second. Byler the batter. Vestal, the pitcher. There you go. Good job, Brady. Safarikas has to slide out to keep that in front of him as it sails through the opposite batter's box. Hey, so we're off next week. What do we have the week after? That's Apex, right? Yeah. Oh, excellent. I can hardly wait for that. I'll be here for that. You're going to bring lobster? I'm bringing my friend Justin Davis with me, though. Inside, past the kneecaps, Byler works the Good walk. Good job, Brady. Good at bat. Gents is due. Come on, buddy. Hit the ball hard somewhere. Just over 20 people in the live stream right now, and I know I have not heard from that many in the chat. So if you haven't chimed in yet, don't be bashful. Just let us know. About yeah. 2,000 people down the sidelines, so. though. Patriots have been drawing good crowds both on the road and at home this season. Well, they have a backing. And they have a good reason yeah. for it. Yeah, they have they, a backing. They do. A lot of very supportive family members, parents, grandparents. Girlfriends. <laughs> Girlfriends. <laughs> Aunts, uncles. Yeah, Aunts, uncles. neighbors. 
Other students. Oh, Steiner get out of spins one out of play. Ooh. Actually, there was a little bit of room there for uh, Pore, but he was running out of room, so it was either the ball, the fence, oh, I think you take or all three the of team. them. Yeah. <laughs> you catch it, you flip over, it's the way it is. Let's Our go. camera operator would have maybe wet himself. <laughs> okay. He's not off. The, he's okay, only now, wait a minute. He's only off the fence wait by a, a few minute. feet, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, to have that first baseman coming at you. Come on now. I don't know. I would have been, been spooked. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would have been kind of stepping away. There's so many comments I could have, <laughs> but I won't. Don't offend me, Bob. Kathy, Kathy's going <laughs> to hang you if you do it. <laughs> oh, no. She likes me today. Vestal deals. <laughs> today. <laughs> Off the oh, handle. Oh, and shallow. It could fall. Falling in. Yep, falls in. Back to first. There Dean, you go. Dean slipped, and Johnson did everything he could to get to it. Two and it just scored. fell in. So a two RBI single off yeah. the handle for Steiner. That hey, sometimes you need a break to get yeah. going, you know? You know what That's I would all. say? It all is, looks at the same thing on the scoreboard. <clears throat> yes, it does. Like all sports, there's no replacement for seeing it live with your own eyes and in person. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So gents with a terrific blue pit into shallow center field. Where's Ryan? With his feet up in the yeah. – oh, no, he's traveling. Oh, is he? Right. Yes, he is traveling Whatever. this week. Yes, 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 yes. Excuses, he excuses. He does not get home until uh -huh. tomorrow, I believe. Then he better be watching, and he's not chimed in. He's probably working, would be my guess. I'm sure he's got a lot of vacation time he could be taking. I wouldn't know. No. you have to ask him. <laughs> Vestal at 41 pitches. See, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get Jen Steiner second here because I want him. I want two runs in scoring position here. Two outs, first and third scenario. Jen's got decent wheels. Yeah. Vondette one for one. He had a productive double, was it not? And if they throw through. Yeah. His first at bat. If they throw through, stop. Vestal deals a fastball that spins up and over the top. Is that three balls? Or two balls? I want to say it's three. We'll see in a moment. Rob Brockman, two balls or two balls? Our trusty scoreboard operator. Mr. Brockman is almost He's more dependable it. than the umpires at times. <laughs> Inside, past oh, the belt it. buckle. So you got three balls, so now you're not stealing. No. Now you stay where you are. Vondette this season. Looking like a collegiate player, if you ask me. I might be a little biased about that. As you should be. Biased? You ought to be in agreement. I, you're, I'm you're stating just, facts here. I'm not just blowing well, smoke. No, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm not whispering sweet nothings in your ear, Brian. I'm talking about a kid Listen, on the field who's an athlete. Get a room. Yeah, <laughs> get a room. Get down, ball. Popped Get up down, on the ball. right side. That might drop in for a single no, or not. not. Lou uh, gets to it before it hits the ground. Hey, I say it all the time. Three for ten, you're a millionaire. All right, the Patriots inch across the leadership line with two, three runs. So they take a two-run lead after two innings. Here in Apex, North Carolina, you're watching Patriots Baseball live from behind the backstop. Upgrade to Google Fiber and pay one simple bill every month. What about extra fees, like installation? Taken care of. Equipment? No. Data overages? There's no such thing. Find out when we're coming to your neighborhood at fiber.google.com. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, 
is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas Design course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. Patriot Baseball from behind the backstop. Welcome back for those that are in the live stream right now. Something we forgot to run for you, this starting defense. Across the outfield, Bloom, Chaccio, and Patience from left to right. Steiner, Phones, Byler, Cannon from third to first. And Vondette catching the starting pitcher, Owen Searsel. Searsel back on the bump. First pitch, fly ball. Looks like it's in shallow left field. A lot of conversation going on between Phones and Bloom, who came in charging. Good catch. Actually, I'd rather see that, them going for the ball, than the ball falling because they stopped. Yeah. You can always talk about, hey, if, if I call it, let me, you can talk about that afterwards. But do that. Brian, you're wrestling with the mic. What's going on there, sir? Mike, but I finally finally got it. So, all right, you're out of the wet paper bag, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Jeez. Good pitch. Guess if you give it, you take it, right? Hey, man. Equal opp opportunity offender. Hey, did you see where I was talking about about Sir Soul? That pitch he just threw was perfect. Low and away. Oh. The O2 that Whoa. looked pretty, oh, but yeesh. not pretty enough for. Our home plate umpire to call it a third strike. I guess he doesn't call it on the outside part to a left. The left-handed Mason Dean connects one bounce right into Phones across, ah. zings it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Vondette with the hustle down the first base path gets it off the ricochet. What a play by Vondette! I'm telling you, this. Uh, I'm going to say what all county, all county. Uh, Catcher material there. I'll give All you that. conference yeah. catcher. I, thank you, Jake. Yeah, I'll give you that. That was, uh, a, that was a heck of an effort right there. Saves a the base. Absolutely. An overthrow from So let's phones. turn two here. Now, see, this is – hey, Bill, we were talking about this. Look how much – actually, I don't have a trouble where Brady is shaded to now, but I would like to see Hayden come three steps that way. Yeah, fill the With gap. With a right-handed batter. Fill the gap on the left side, absolutely. Right. There's only so much ground you can expect for Steiner to cover from third. Right. Just three steps. Try and close up that hole just a little bit. And vice versa with a left-handed batter. Correct, on the in infield, right. the middle yes. infield. One ball, one strike, one out, and a runner on first. And he goes... Get one. Hit and run action. Phones comes up with it, and now he puts it in the dirt. You're making it a tough day for Cannon. God. Last one, Can what is Cannon, 6-2? At uh, least. You know, he jumped vertically he on the, six, the last four. one, and now he went down on a knee trying to block it. I think Hayden just needs to relax, right? We talked about this. He's got a strong enough arm. Other short stops. you just got to trust in yourself. He's got that funky hitch. He fields the ball, and he kind of does this with it a little a bit. double pump. Field, field, field it and throw it. Yeah. Field yeah. it and throw it and don't think. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that that's good advice for Why all is he getting defensively. Why is he getting an extra bat? Uh, oh, did he go? No. Yeah, he was going. That was a hit oh, and run. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hit he and took run it. situation. Ryan Liu, the right fielder, at the plate. He connects. Uh, Fly ball. Chachio three, is going to get under three, it. Three. Three. Good job. Well Good done job. with the cutoff to Phones. Allows the run to score from third, but holds the runner. Listen, Drew Chachio made a nice play second. that time. That, that was using your head. 
Yeah, as soon as he made the catch, he immediately knew where to look. Right, right. Which was toward third. And he hit his cutoff man right in the him. chest. Yep. You know, and he held the runner there. That was a good play. Right. Mature defense for the junior center fielder. Sirisol deals a little bit inside on Isaac Nitzkowski. Nitzkowski over one. Sirisol at 39, 40-ish pitches. So let's keep him outside. Let's keep him outside. We got we got one ball. We got two outs. Oh. Tough play for Byler to try to make off the, the rubber. ball coming yeah. off the lip. Off the rubber. Off the rubber and you know, Byler at uh, six foot two just couldn't make the play. <laughs> Oh, I forgot there's no ladder up there. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, Brady. You know that. Ties it up. Great coverage by our first base cam on Brady's leap. Nitzkowski, I'm sorry, Pore now. Nitzkowski reached. So he's at the bottom of the order. Bill, here's something for you. Bottom of the order, I know he's a righty. Maybe shade one this way at second. He's behind you. He's like yeah. I said. Two that's hits two pitches. now. Two pitches. He's, he's behind. behind. Yeah. So read the read it. I'd love to think that these players watch this back and don't just look for the high highlights and scrub through, but I know they do. Was, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because be I, honest. I honestly, I honestly believe good there's pitch. a lot of good nuggets of information. Foul ball. Steiner picks it up in foul territory. I honestly think there's a lot of wisdom being communicated. Yeah. Now you don't have to dis you don't have to agree with it, right? But it's wisdom from years and years of playing, coaching, observing, yeah. spectating. Agree. And you know, look, I, you know, none of us learn what we do the first day out. Good so pitch again. Off the foot, going to be foul. There is a lot of years standing up there in that box. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you meant that as a compliment, right? Right, Jake? You, you meant that as a compliment. Little <laughs> Jake Says Jenna. the guy that's sitting down. Yeah, sitting. Down there because he right. needed a break. Without the prescription glasses. I was going to ask him if he wanted to switch, actually. Considering I am the oldest here. Come on, Buttercup. Yeah, really. Come on, Buttercup. <laughs> Suck it up. Jeez. Good job. Yeah. Good pitch. Owen Sirisol puts an end to it. Top of the third inning. Tie score now. This is going to be another back and forth. I hate to say it, but yeah, I think it it's going to like be a back and forth game. And understandably so. The Patriots, third game of the week, third game, third day playing. And they obviously had a lot of physical and emotional drain last night with a very long three and a half hour, seven inning walk-off victory against the Cardinal Gibbons Crusaders here at home. You know that damn kicker for Cardinal Gibbons? He makes the extra point, you're still playing. Yeah, that was a football game. An absolute football game. It, no lead was safe. No. I think, I think there were more runs in that game than the Carolina Panthers football team scored all oh, of year. last season. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to say a terrible <laughs> halftime show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dancing. Brian, nobody can hear you when you got the mic off. Now we can hear you. That's a bad what were you? That. I know. We want to catch the way these, they can hear you. We want to catch these zingers, okay. right? And they 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 don't get captured for posterity if you don't keep the headset on. <laughs> yeah. I'll try yeah, that again. You have good ones. You have really good ones. And that's yeah. something else. I, I've, I've gotten feedback, personal feedback. You guys are so mean to each other. I'm like, are, we? are you kidding me? Are we? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that I don't comes think with the are. territory. You're going to yeah. put the headset on? You're going to put on glasses? Hat on listen, backwards listen. with food on Do your you shirt. Go, we don't want to be part of a boring show. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't. No. On the other hand, I don't want to sit in the bleachers either. So. Mm. No. That aluminum is uncomfortable. Oh. All right. 
Welcome back to Patriots Baseball. We're starting the bottom of the third inning with a tie score. Connor Payne up at bat. First pitch oh, from Vestal. That ball is a ball. I'm going to tell you right now that, that pitch a is a ball. ball. Not your pitch, Connor. Gene Steiner with the JV update, middle of the fourth. Friendship oh, up five nothing. Long I think he fly got ball, that. just foul. Oh, oh, oh! Krebs ran out of room. Are we sure that that? Yeah. Yeah, that was foul. But it was right Can at the corner. Can we get a replay on that? Yeah, we'll get it. Well, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know if Owen caught that or not. But let's see what happens here on the replay in the live stream. It's foul in about three hundred and twenty-five feet. Gosh, I would three thirty out there. I might say it was three twenty-eight. Nope. Unfortunately, we didn't catch it, but what a powerful foul ball from Connor Payne. Opposite field foul ball this the time. Last, the pitch before almost hit the dude coming out of the Don's Johns. <laughs> Here's a ribbing for, for Ryan. He is the father to a varsity and a JV player and his mother is giving us the JV updates. It's because he's working. I don't buy it. He's but working. He I did know. check in. Thank you, Ryan. Still I know he's away and working. Still watching from quote unquote Vegas. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you should have done without that, dude. <laughs> you were fine until you mentioned <laughs> Vegas. There it is. Oh, Fly ball. Gamble. Is it going to get down? Gonna drop. Oncoming is Dean. No. And he gets to it. Good hit. Good catch. Dean playing the Patriot Hitting center field correctly out. today. A little bit of wind. But Dean is covering a lot of ground out there. Again, I can't stress, 380 <sighs> is a deep center field. Bob, you were pulling that yesterday remotely. And the day before. It's getting close to that bedtime. You know. Oh, yeah. What do you do, yawn? Yeah. I did. But he, he doesn't do it just like a quiet yawn. It's this big I don't drawn care. out. I look at look at I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care if you offend our viewers? Well that actually no I don't. We do. Vestal <laughs> no, trying to come back <laughs> to Cannon. <laughs> Two balls, no strikes, one out, nobody on. Tie score in the top of the third inning. Good job. Good cut by Cannon. Good job yeah. on the outside part of the plate. Way to protect. Come on. Now hit the ball. Last Friday, if you were watching, a combination of. Was it the natural. He hit it off the scoreboard. Yeah, he did. Broke it. Mm. Yeah, he gave it to him. The hammer came out a little dramatically delayed, but it strike call nonetheless there. Two two with one out. Vestal deals. Good Foul job. Tip. Way to stay alive. Connor Payne went opposite field home run Friday night, and then an inning later, Bryce Cannon pulls one onto the scoreboard in left field at Mustang Field. A little bit of a screwball pitch. Cannon connects with, but. Across the infield, Johnson to Pore, 6-3 to put a second out on the board. Jake Jenna tying up a headset while he scrolls Amazon for the next best Prime Day deals. Anything good on sale, Jake? Jake's no. on Amazon. I'm, I'm, down sure, there. I'm sure my wife can find something. Oh, she's next oh. to you. You're going to get backhanded. <laughs> Third out. As I'll come sit there, Jake. I'll Mason Dean catches you. a routine fly ball out in center field. Dean is looking very competent at covering center field here at Patriot Park, but a tie score after three. You're watching Patriots baseball.
Coming up in just a few short days, April 6th here at Patriot Park, the Patriots host a two-game fundraiser opportunity event on a Saturday late morning into the early afternoon as four teams together come together to play two games for one great cause to raise money for the UNC Comprehensive Cancer Center Pediatric Research and Treatment with all sorts of opportunities to donate for a good cause and including getting your taste of Mr. Outrageous Food Truck who will be here to serve your hunger needs as you watch two terrific and outrageous baseball games on April 6th. Do we have a first name for Vestal? Bryce? Brian? I do. Hold on. Blake. Hopefully you didn't just make that up. <laughs> yeah, I just pretending. Jason doesn't know better. Welcome back to Patriots Baseball as we start the top of the fourth inning with Blake Vestal, the starting pitcher for the Falcons, facing off against Owen Searsel. Vestal is one for one. Searsel closing in on 50 pitches. Jake, how many pitches is he at? Closing in on 50. Closing in on 50, yep. <laughs> Did you just say that? Sorry. I was dropping nuggets over here, and you guys had me my mic turned off. Hey, that sounded gross. <laughs> <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> I didn't say it. Vestal Straight up. Pops base. one, skies oh, it. Second base. Byler shading himself, and he gets Good it. Job. Good job. Well done by the well second done. baseman, the senior second baseman. Good job by Brady that time. Defense today. Doing a really up, good up, job. Up. Doing a really good job. I, what, I can't compliment them? <laughs> Come on, Bob. Do you two need to go wrestle What, again? do you want me just to talk negativity? No, I want no. you to say, right. say, say, nice play, Brady. Are you just, oh. I got all misty on that. Because was such I'm a not nice telling play. them to get a stepladder. <laughs> well, they are doing that a really good job of blocking the sun. Aren't they? Yeah, thanks, Clearly, Jake. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Jake. Thank you, for goodness sake. All of them too. Mason's yes. already had an, yep. uh, Mason Dean in center field for clear Drew, blue skies. Falcons. Yeah. Drew Liner Chaccio. over unreachable to phones, but over his head, Chachio comes up with it. Drew Chachio made a nice play yes, out there he did. doing that. Yes, he did. So, too, did Buster Bloom in left, and I think we had one for patience maybe in right, if I'm not mistaken, early in the game. Get some sunglasses If on not, him. we'll just make it up and pretend he had one. Okay. Looks like Green Hope's got bullpen moving. Yes, he Gets did. Gets the hammer. Yes, he did. On a swing or a called? I think it was a swing because he's called that ball. He's called yeah. that a ball the whole game. So we have a, a somebody checking in. Elbori two eight two two RS. They were in yesterday. It says message retracted. I think that same thing happened yesterday. So I don't know if it's their account or it's the individual that keeps putting something in and removing it. I'm not doing it. So if you're trying to communicate with us. Uh, Nothing on my behalf, but uh, I don't know. Identify yourself. Yeah, chime back in. Maybe it's that that anonymous <laughs> user account. Liner uh -oh. into the gap of left center. That drops in for a base hit. Chacho is on. He's, he's got his ball game head on today. Coming up, throwing right to the cutoff. Phone's in the right spot. Lined up to Steiner at third. Can I just ask you a question? What does that mean? His bald game? Ball game head. Like thinking baseball. Right? That's Good baseball you. thoughts. High baseball uh, yeah. IQ. Yes, thank you. Baseball IQ. Well, that's different. <laughs> Operating with a high degree of baseball IQ today. I don't know what else. That, that sounds rude there, Bob. The way you're phrasing it. Fouled off. Now, see, two steps over and fill that hole in there at second. Harrison Brewer at second, Dylan Johnson at first, and Jacob Krebs at the One plate. out. He uh -oh. rips one. Pulled it hard. On the run is patience. One bounce gets to it cleanly. He turns and hits Byler. So 
All runners advance just one base. That was well played by the right fielder, Brendan Patience. Brendan, Brendan, we said earlier, great wheels. He got the ball in quick, saved him a run. Hey, there's one out. We get a ground ball here. Yeah. We can be out of this inning. He covered a lot of ground, Brendan did. Came up with it on one bounce as it was curling toward the right field foul line. That's he, how you play the outfield. He he's did a little terrific. shallow right now with the left-handed batter up. Good pitch. The what senior are we in here? quarterback. Oh. We are in the top of the fourth, fourth inning. <laughs> <laughs> you got a date to go somewhere? What do you? This, this game's moving along, unlike last night. Yeah. Cirrus old deals. He gets Good it. Good pitch. I, I saw that coming. <coughs> Batters think it almost hit me. Sirisol steps away. Hey, they got to, he's got to be careful. Yeah, he does. I because just saw they're it watch, too. Watch the base umpire. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's got the Hawkeyes going on when, he, when something like that happens, as did earlier, when he steps off wrong, yeah. they're watching you the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. and as the pitcher, then you are conscientious, yes. right, overly so. Yep, about. left foot, left foot, left foot. Nice breaking ball. Gets past Byler on the right side. Patience. Nope. And two runs will score. Here we go again. Yeah, six to four now in the top of the fifth in uh, fourth inning, sorry. With one out. Runners first and second. I don't think we have anybody up warming up yet. Not just yet, but Coach Civitello making a walk. He's he's almost forced to stay with it, so he's got to get through. He's got to get through four. Get those pesky people out of the foreground. There we go. Well, three games in three days. I think you only had to go through what two pitchers on Tuesday. We went through four yesterday. You know, it makes it tough when you're on the third game in three days. Safarikas going to step in 0 for 1. Looks like the bullpen's going to get active here. JV is still up 5 to 4 in the middle of the fifth inning. If you're a fan and a follower of our junior varsity minor league team, as you know, are the Steiners. I, I, would think, I would think maybe we got one out. Uh, we're in the fourth. Good pitch there. But I, I would think, you know, so, so availability today is Jen Steiner, um, Simon Martone. Um, he's on the, well, that might be him stretching out there down there. I can't tell. It is. It is. But he's my next guy because he's on the bench. <laughs> Lined oh. in the left. Oh. <clears throat> Bloom hits the cutoff. Steiner blocks Good it, job. and one run scores on an RBI single by Safarikas. Oh, he's coming out. Uh, he has Simon hasn't even thrown yet. I mean, he's played soft toss. Yeah, that's going to be. I a, was just watching, wondering if it's a if it, if it's a quick mid inning relief. Good move, that Siv. he's thinking. Good right, move here. Before Siv is stalling. Good move here. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Uh, I, but Sorry, I ran Get those out people of out of the way. Yeah, we're trying to Come see on, our man. bullpen, and we got patrons that are blocking our view. How well, dare they? No, no, no. A couple of people walked right in front of Simon warming up. Oh, yeah. He just – he didn't go out there. Yeah, he's got <laughs> time to warm. That's a great move. He, he just bought his reliever sometime to – See, he's not throwing off the mound yet. He just started yeah. throwing. Yeah, flat ground in the bullpen right now for Martone. What? I wonder what they could possibly be talking Great about. Great angle by uh, oh, Owen Ricicci of the bullpen from across at first. What oh. an amazing reach that camera is giving us. Hey, let me, let me, <clears throat> what Siv was saying, the runner that came around to score. Didn't touch? Didn't touch third base, and that's what he was questioning. Okay. Or if. Actually, if you <laughs> right, <laughs> right, we're on the same. Page. Okay, same bat channel without having to say it. 
Okay, so you've got a right-handed that's pulled the ball. Why is Soft the shortstop off over speed by second? Change up from Cirasol. Bob, you are asking questions that, you know. Makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm not going to answer at risk of offending anybody. <laughs> pulled, phones, backhanded. Over to second to Byler, turns. Good try. Tries to roll two. Good try right there. Well played by nice the middle play. infielders teaming up. Yep. And especially Brady turned that really well. He did. Nice play by Hayden. Got the ball out of his glove quick. Brady made an exceptional turn at second. Yeah. Good try. Nothing you can do on that. Got two outs. Good job. Good baseball IQ by the middle infielders. Now you definitely got to get in that hole. Yeah. With this guy up at bat. Yeah. Move Spread over. Him out. Move, move over. It's Kowski. Oh, uh, one for two. And he's, uh, he's a know, big kid. He's a big kid, and he can swing the stick and put the ball in the outfield just as well as anybody. Hammer time. Oh. Got scared there, didn't you? I thought I didn't yeah. think he was going to call that. <laughs> I, exactly. It's right I, down the middle I of the plate. Yeah, it was. Half a step ready That's to go. Okay. He, he's. I, swing on the outside pitch to Byler. Uh, interference. Short, we got, we're going to get an interference and call there he here. Is. Yes, we got him. Tag got him at home. Good job, Brady. Yeah. Nice job. The Patriots infield just bought some time for their bullpen to keep warming up. What a excellent executed short cut by Byler to Hold get it back. Second. Go Hold ahead. On a second. Jake, what what'd you see? The uh, the batter on the swing crossed the plate and got in JJ's way, so I think we were going to get an out either way. Good. Okay. Um, um had already pretty much called the out before the play at home. Right. Bob, do you notice how concerned Jake is? He's about that he was going to lose his job after yesterday. What did he do? Because well, Anthony was all over him with the stats. I yes. mean, he stepped up really, his game today. Jake is. went home, did his homework. And he's come out swinging. Anthony is on the ropes now. I heard a little rumor his wife didn't know where he was at 3 o'clock this morning. He was downstairs <laughs> studying. Oh, you mean I could have texted him when I was awake doing the graphics? and? Well, and after last night's game, I have a curfew now. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, young man. Yes, Touché. very nice. Well, well played. Yep. Wow. Uh, hey, we need to get him, like, more involved because – when people start stepping on him, he gets his game on. He does. He absolutely does. He has stepped up like a leadoff hitter. I might not throw the first punch, but I throw the last one. Nice. Ah. Not the alpha, but you are the omega, are you? <laughs> I'm with you on that one. I'm right there with you. I'm the alpha. This music. You can be the alpha, but I'm going to turn the lights off, sir. I am the omega. What is the this? last one standing. Rock, rock music? Is I don't know you? what this is. I'm trying to drown out Jason. He's got... Something going so loud in here, I can think it's a disco. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to dance. He's gonna, he needs a, a ball. <laughs> crystal ball going. He's got strobe lights. He's the new Mansfield. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Steiner's getting up in the bullpen as well, just getting himself loose and ready to go just in case. Coach Siv giving himself options. I like it. Actually, I'd, I'd have let them both get warmed up. Well, you let Steiner go a little bit. Put how Martone much did, back up. How much up. did Martone throw this week? 27, was it, Jake? Yes. Are he was going to say <laughs> yes no matter say, what. I was just going to say the same thing. Are you guessing on that down there, Jake? Popped up, skied on the uh. infield, on the right side. Over is the second baseman. One pitch, one swing, one out. Game changer couldn't even catch up. That happened so hey, fast. Hey, we gotta have this game, guys. Yes, we do. This is this is this is a conference. Hey, game. listen, the Patriots were down by twelve, was it, yesterday, and came back for a walk off. They're yeah, down but by we can't three. Can't do that every time. Okay, yeah. and I don't disagree with you. You don't have any hair left to give it anyway. Right. Vestal deals. Foul I ball. do, but I won't say. Well, toe hairs don't count. All right, let's see. Quick check. 20-ish or so people in the live stream. The Steiner family is just covering the live chat for us. Laura Doyen, thanks for tuning in out of Tampa, Florida. Ryan, $100 on black for me, all right? Hi. Ooh. 
pitch, chopped at into right field. That'll be two away. That ball kind of just floats to right field. Yeah. That's the second or third time where the ball has just hung up out, out there. Plenty of time for Ryan Liu to get under it. Oh, look, well, last inning. Bloom came through clutch last night and, uh, for the walk-off yep. in the bottom of the seventh. Sure did. And there's two outs here. We've had two out went, rallies yesterday, right? Two out rallies today, too. So yeah. just got to keep it going. Vestal with that. I don't know, Bob. What is it? I got criticized for trying to make up, you know, identifying uh, out, pitches. Outside pitch, fastball. Uh, kind of like tailed away. That's a fastball. Is it a two-seam? It's a two-seam fastball. All right. Thank you. Tries <laughs> that to bring it in. Pitch. That was very good. Tried to bring it in just a skosh more. Just a little bit outside. And, and very much just a little bit. We don't want to give the ump any ideas, though. Vestal deals. And there he's finally going to give it to him. Inching it in. That's pretty much the same point the other one was. Well, Vestal worked it, right? Pitch by pitch, kept inching it back in. Vestal, all right, that one got away from him. Three balls, one strike, two outs, nobody on. Bottom of the fifth inning. Fifth, fourth, one, two, Bottom three, of the fourth. four. My eyes. Bloom connects, lofts one into center. Oncoming is Mason Dean for the third out. All right, we got some bills to pay, Bob, with some live reads. For our friends at AFPAC, obviously, we've talked about the talked about the uh, golf tournament on the 29th at 12 Oaks. Please get your foursome together, get your application in. Links are in the show notes, stream description, stream descriptions. And sign up for that today. It's always a sellout. Make it again this year. We talked about the UNC cancer games coming up with Mr. Outrageous, the food truck that's going to be there. In addition, for spring break, if you have a middle schooler who's a baseball player or maybe not even a baseball player, get them signed up to come out and work with Coach Civitello and the Patriots baseball players who will be in attendance the 27th, 8th, and 9th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon giving skills and team defense training. That's a great opportunity right there for youngsters to learn and to showcase, to be quite honestly, especially if they're friendship students and future high schoolers. Parents of younger youth sports camp student athletes get them signed up for the summer camps those are always a sellout very popular i do remember what it's like to be a parent of younger children having to find care for them throughout the course of the summer take advantage of that still time left here to get a patriot pass for the remaining games you can save some money in, as a student as an adult individual or in groups as a family and last but not least out in left field our new scoreboard wants your company sponsorship along the bottom of that. And, Anthony, where did we have that nice picture that we took earlier today, the beautiful scoreboard that's out there thanks to Mark Patience and the AFPAC team? Made it a reality in just in the nick of time for both baseball and softball. So if you want to submit an application through Mark Patience to get your company placard added beneath the uh, scoreboard in support of the program, look for those instructions and links in the show notes as well. Now, however, we're going to cut to our first relieving pitcher. So batter interference was the yeah. call. Yep. That's what, that's what Jake was saying. Nobody knows that because you don't have a headset on, Bron I mean, Bob. That's what that's what Jake was saying. Yep. So. so batter interference. 
Swing and a miss for number 26. Batter interference. Batter interference. So that per – yeah, yep, correct. So that batter from the last inning. All right. Jake is sitting on Good the headset. Good pitch. Good pitch by Cirasol there. Good, good, good segment of pitches. Owen at closing in on seventy. Bob, repeat after me. Re closing in on seventy. Another good pitch. Swing and a miss. How many pitches does Cirasol have, Bob? One hundred and five. Excellent. Good rec recall skills. Oh. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> Close pitch right there. Mr. Consistency behind the plate. <laughs> Rob Mansfield is pitch? checking in from across yes. the country in Abington. Abington, he's at home. I know. <laughs> lazy, I know where it is. Lazy Saka, uh, you know what. You... <laughs> Okay, boys. Be nice. Don't offend anybody. Swing and a miss. That a boy. And Cirasol. That a way. Jake, how many? Jake, does, yeah, Jake's got the headset on. Jake, I'm back. how many Ks, sir, on the All day? Right. So Owen, I believe, is at 4K, 75 pitches. So seemed to have settled in a little bit here. and Throwing his change up a little bit more, Jake. Yeah, had a long inning last inning, but he's come out here guns blazing. The professional photographer, Ed Kenenny. Letting us know he thinks ESPN should be calling us for camera production. Call my agent. You're not camera production. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody invited come on, you. Come on, make the play. Phone's charging. Hop and a skip over to See what I mean Cannon. about the hop and skip there with him? He's got he's to get that out of his system. Yeah. And because when he plays fast... Yeah. And gets rid of the ball fast. Yep. Ball's always on the money. Bryce Cannon with the stretch at first to scoop that one and dig it out. Jake hating the headset again. Is he throwing it? Yeah, he just no, rips no, no, it I'm off. Here. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry. He's got one of those things about his ears. He doesn't like things touching <laughs> <Yeah>. him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the wrong batter coming up there, and then I walked away to go figure out what was going on. And, of course, as I walk away, Siv came over here to explain it. Yep. I'll serve you. Yep. Don't ever walk away on the job. It's like it's like when you get lost. You just stay where you are, and right. you let your wife find you. There you go. <laughs> wow. Are you sucking up? <laughs> well, you got in trouble for being out too late with the boys. With the boys. With the and, boys and, and then you get out of bed at 3 in the morning to study. and. Yeah. I, th I think she got Life 360 so she can keep track of me, not the kids. <laughs> Here comes the wind at Patriot Park as is commensurate okay, as the sun goes down. Time to put on the pullovers. A okay, thin-skinned, aging, middle-aged individuals. An anonymous Ryan checking in from D.C. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't be, uh, don't be influenced by those politicians. You'll come home with... Uh, Pockets laden with uh, money. Get some stock tips while you're there. <laughs> yeah, you'll somehow all of a sudden become a multi-millionaire <laughs> as a legislator. I don't know how that there happens. There we go. Come on, Brady. All right, Brady Byler now steps in. We need three. Vestal still on the mound for the Falcons. He's going to go to the distance. Popped up on the right <sighs> side. Threesome crowded just in fair territory makes the catch. That is the second baseman. You know, I don't know how to do in this live chat is to, you know, give little emojis to people's comments. Um, the only thing I have here is like a heart with some things, but I don't know where that goes. Just kind of floats up along the side. Foul ball. 
And he's got to make an effort on that fence, you know? Pore and Brewer are covering ground on the right side, as is Lou. They are not letting too much of anything hit the ground before they get under it. That right side on the middle in, or on the infield and then the outfield. Steiner steps back in, one for two with a 0-1 count. Swings. There it is. Seeing eye single on the there left side. There it is. See that little blooper hit. Little confidence. Look at that. Nice hit. Good job, and gents. Who's coming up. Uh -huh. Touche, Ryan, up in D.C. He says if he gets get some uh, kickbacks, he's going to donate it for stadium lights here at Patriot Park. <laughs> A man after my own heart. Hey, but you know what, though? i got to tell you guys something funny. Somebody was talking, uh, Pete was talking, at Garner High School, they can't use their lights anymore because the county won't pay the bill for the, to run the oh, lights. Gee whiz. Oh, gee whiz. But I said, so they don't you know what I said to Siv? You you get lights, we'll figure out yeah. how to get it funded. Fly ball ah. from Vondette on the right Missed side. It. Lou is going to get under that, and that will put Steiner back to first. It's all right. Come on. Come on, Connor, with two here. Here we go. Lady Patriots softball heading up against the Apex Cougar softball team. Top of the sixth inning, two to one in favor of Apex. That is a conference rivalry at both softball and baseball, cross town subway series. Connor Payne, ooh, ooh backhanded at third is Shoresman. And Poray digs it out. Nice play by the third baseman. Yeah, yeah. very, between the hey, five, I, three. I have something for you. For all you college basketball fans, it's bracket day. And just thought I'd tell you, Illinois won today. Um, Duquesne beat BYU, and Arizona beat the Long Beach State. All right, Bob, look out at that scoreboard. Let me know what inning it is. Uh, top of the fifth? Top of the fifth is trivia time. It's top of the fifth trivia time coming to you from Stan Brothers. He submitted an entry for today. So, Bob, we're going to test your trivia knowledge. Ask what? The first MVP from the first ACC tournament was whom? Baseball or basketball? Or Gosh. football? Stan, help me out quick. Is that basketball or baseball? <laughs> he, he didn't say, and it is basketball season. The, uh, so the person, it? I'll give you a little bit of a hint. The person went to Wake Forest, if that helps you any, but it was the first ACC tournament. Chris Paul. MVP. If it's basketball, I'd say Chris Paul. It's going to be a name you're familiar with. Well, since none of my kids went there, um, a name I'm familiar with. You, you don't know it, but when I tell you, you're going to say, oh, that's I didn't know that. And the answer is? The answer? Should we cut to commercial? No. No? no oh, okay. I was going to leave you hanging there. Dickie Hemmerich. Okay. All that? Stan Brothers' grandfather to Luke Hemmerich. Very nice. Providing that one good to question. us in the live chat. That was good and very, you know, I guess uh, athleticism is in the DNA. Between Luke and Dickie Hemmerich before him, presumably Mark, maybe Luke's mother. Maybe it mother. jumped over Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I I'm joking. Let you say it. I wasn't going to. You were thinking it, though. <laughs> no. Yes, you were. Don't lie. I think Mark did great on the mic last year at Gardner. We had, that was another marathon game, multiple relievers. We were sitting there on the bleachers, Mark, Brian, and I. It went forever. Oh. I had the luxury, well, my wife did that night, of a sick dog. Breaking ball from Cirrusol misses just a little bit that low. Is, you know what, though? I'm going to say that was that's a, a change-up. Yeah, I liked that, it. That is a good pitch. I did like it. Fastball now in front of Phones, scoops it. Across quickly to Cannon and oh. off his glove. Golly. Dylan Johnson reaches on an E3. See, that time, that time, Hayden didn't have time to think. Yeah, and he and just he reacted. 
and he made did. a nice play. We got to catch that. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. What? Hey, Jake, what's the pitch number on on him? Seventy. Owens at seventy nine. Really? So Coach Civitello is going to come out here he in the top ball. of the sixth inning. He threw a ground ball. A three run deficit, and that's going to put Jen Steiner on the bump. So Cirasol gets the pat Atta on the boy. back from Coach Guy Civitello. Jen Steiner is going to come in from third. Connor Payne comes out to play third. To play third. He was in the lineup as a DH. So he'll take over for Steiner at third. And Cirasol will go to DH. And they're just swapping. Yep, they're just moving around. That is the Hemrick side, not the brother's side, as uh, Stan's letting us know. But basketball, it is. And that makes sense. You can see the uh, height in Mark. Doesn't surprise me as a two-sport uh, two athlete that Mark is, basketball and baseball. A little bit of a pitching change here as we start off the top of the sixth inning <clears throat> with no outs and a runner on first. Steiner coming in from third. And a little switcheroo. Couple things. Where's he going? Yeah, we got I some. I think we're shifting in the outfield. Too. Yeah, we got some. So, Cirasol is going to go to the outfield. Relieving Brendan Patience or Buster Bloom? Not quite sure. Or is that Chachio? Yeah, that might be Chachio. This is an interesting switch up. Well, Maybe that was a requirement, though, because Connor Payne was the DH for Chachio. Is there a requirement there? Yeah, but Connor Payne's in the game. Right. <clears throat> but he doesn't necessarily have to go in to, I don't know. You're asking that the could, wrong person. Could, could be, yeah, that. Yeah, agreed. Wrong person. Right question. Wrong person. Activity in the Falcons bullpen right now. As Steiner is warming up on the mound. Three appearances. 6.30 ERA. Six and two-thirds innings with a 3.10 opposing average. 31 batters faced with six strikeouts and two walks contributed last Friday to the success at Middle Creek Mustang Field. The one-two punch or the two to the one-two punch with Connor Payne as the Patriots. See, we are playing too much for two instead of we got a left-handed batter up. Fastball, hammer time, gets it. First pitch strike by Jen Steiner. This guy's a pull hitter. He's a good hitter. Krebs. Krebs yep. is one for two. Yep. Was productive Tuesday. And he like pulls said, it. One bounce, two. Patience scoops it up. Johnson holds at second, so a single. Puts runners first and second here with no outs. Falcons with a three-run lead. Top of the six. The top of the six. Yeah, we need a ground ball here badly. Yep. Then we'll take care of the rest. Another left-handed pull hitter with an open stance is Mason Dean, the center fielder. Steiner checking his runners. Pitch. Oh. Phone smart to take a step back as kept the ball in front of him. Johnson Good was play. coming back, could have possibly got struck by the ball, and in that case, that's all right. He's big no, ball. but he'd have to respond and react to a ball that ricochets off the runner, right? So he's kind of stepping back a little bit to play it if needed. See, I think that they must have. We must have made an adjustment. Look where Brady is now. He's right where he's supposed to yeah, be now. Yeah, right in that hole right. on the right side of the infield. Filling that gap so that if Dean should pull one hard on the ground, Byler should have a chance at it. That's right. Cannon also not, not covering, but playing in on the grass of first. Oof, Mason Dean. 
Careful, my camera's over there, as is our camera operator. Come on, need a ground ball here. Two balls, one strike, no outs. Steiner deals, a fastball that pops there up on the go. right side. Byler shading himself, moving around. Should be an infill fly. Infill yep. fly yes. gets the force. Good pitch, good play. Twenty-three people watching right now in the live chat. We started 109 minutes ago. If you really care about that stat, no, not particularly. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Hour and 50 minutes for those that like to do conversions. Or at least 109 in YouTube, 100 and hour 50. Oh, just misses the throw down to second. That is going to get him. Yes, smart. So at least two outs now with a runner on third. That is Johnson. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Was that kind of a sacrifice by Krebs, or did he just no. not get a good jump? No, he wasn't expecting the throw. Yeah. All right, Vondette. That was smart by J.J. Guns and, it. And, and Brady. And Brady, Brady to was be in there. the right yeah. spot. Yep. The hard fastball from Steiner to Safarikas. Come on, gents. Come downhill. Straight downhill. Safarikas one for two on the day. Two outs and a runner on third. Ah, don't overthrow. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There you Steiner go. Steiner with the fastball down the middle to Safarikas. All the way back. Come all the way back here. 3-1. Call the pitch, Bob. Fastball. Yes, sir. Gets it. Full count. Live right there. Two outs. Runner on third and a full count on Safarikas, the catcher for the Falcons. Steiner now with the payoff pitch. Line right at you. Into center. Chachi, well, not Chachi. That was Cirasol. All right. All right. Well, no, that's not Cirasol. Bloom. Bloom. Thank yeah. you. Bloom. Cirasol was in left. Bloom makes the catch to get out of the inning before any other runs can Bill, score. you might be right on that. They must have had to make that substitution that way with Chachi. Something. But had Bloom, to. Bloom moved over to center. Connor Payne to third as Steiner takes the mound. He probably, you know what it is, he would have lost Cirasol at bat. And he's hit the ball today. Yeah. So that's why right. he did that. Yeah, that's why. Because we said so. Patriots looking to make up three as we go toward the bottom of the six. You're watching Patriots baseball from behind the backstop here on YouTube. I work remotely. I'm usually on conference calls all day, and my mom's streaming to like 4 a.m. Some people have to work in the morning. <laughs> when we moved to the house, my mom did not get continuous internet, but with Google Fiber, we were able to expand our mesh network. Now she can watch her streaming shows while I'm doing work. Without internet, I'm just like a dad. <laughs> Sign up for Google Fiber today at fiber.google.com. The Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas design course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. 
Welcome back to Patriots Baseball. Bryce Cannon at the plate. That may evens the counts, one and one. First pitch was a ball. Throw him a fastball, come on. Oh. Popped up on the right side. That's just been a pore in foul territory. Oh, He's been all over those all day long. Cannon flies out on the third pitch from Vestal, who at 73 pitches continues to seem effective. He's, put, he's pitched pretty well. Yeah. But he's nothing special that we haven't seen. Nope. He's just been. He's kept him off balance a lot. Causing the Patriots offense to pop out. What is that, the, Jake? Is third or fourth pop out on the right side? Uh, oh, that's what I was just thinking. It's got to be three or four in foul territory. I knew I could catch him on that I one. I was going to say, Jake, <laughs> you're on top of that. He, he improvised. He overcome it. He came. Yeah. He improvised. I, I gave him a softball. Two balls, no strikes, one out on the second batter. Owen Sirisol. Ooh, Ooh. got to hit those strikes. Going to be tough to see something better than that yeah. from Vestal. Nice gap in right center if you're looking at the outfield. All right, three and one, read base runners. Let's go. Center field cam is looking nice tonight. I have to say so myself. It's what makes a baseball game. You keep telling yourself that. Seriously. Hey, by the way, all jokes aside, listen. Swings back. Have you seen the camera that's inside the fence over here? What about what, it? You can't put a camera inside the fence. I got. Like, no, I'm talking like inside the fence. Three of them. In here? Where? I don't see where it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, look, if it hits their camera, that's. What if the catcher's got a fly ball there and it hits the camera? Yeah, I guess if it's coming straight down. He just hasn't noticed it yet. Yeah. I mean, all of ours are right. kind of out of harm's way. And uh, Sirisol works the walk on Vestal as he hits 80 pitches on that at bat. Only his second walk of the day. That, really? That's the impressive yeah. stat. Wow. They've had a couple people up in the bullpen. Yeah, so give give Vestal credit. He's not giving in, away any free bases here. Well, two for the game, but that's not, not bad at all through, you know, now five full innings. Nope. The southpaw for the Falcons. He's working the mound today on behalf of Green Hope. Fastball doesn't quite start inside enough and tails away as it makes its. So, Rob Mansfield's feelings are hurt. I just wanted you to know you did it. There we go. It's all right. Phones watches another ball. I'm trying to egg him on to just get here and stop making excuses. Well, he says. Lazy, you know my kid doesn't play anymore, right? <laughs> well, you called him lazy. I didn't. Well, he's still lazy. <laughs> Vestal deals. Almost oh. hits phones. That one passed the belt I think you got to wear that. I think so, too. I think in this case, yeah. you know, we say you that what, jokingly, though? but come on, man. And I, I would think it if I were the, if I were the Falcons coach, <laughs> excuse me, if phones had wore that, I bet you he'd, he'd be walking out to – he can I walk don't know out all he wants. No, but I mean, just he would be walking out to possibly set the stage mm. for a for a replacement. But the fact that he didn't, I give him credit. Okay, uh, probably, okay, probably okay seen Rob a little bit of, me again. Thanks, probably Rob. seen a little bit of fatigue come in here, right? I mean, certainly that's a long way to go. Eighty-four. He's pitches. pitched good. Sirisol kind of egging him on. Ooh, don't step out. Step into it. Drive it in the opposite direction. What was the count? Was that three and one? It's three and one now. That three beautiful one scoreboard one. tells me it's three and one now. The throw over. Casual from Vestal. Here we go. Here we go. I would have taken that pitch too. 
Poiré, base runners. Poiré, mm-hmm. the first baseman, holding Vestal. Or, I'm sorry, holding Cirasol. Vestal deals. Get down, Ooh. ball. Drops in for a base hit. Oh, you got to get third. Get third. Cirasol rounds. He's going to go. Ooh, he should have. Oh, wow. That was close coming back. Ooh, that was very close coming back. I think he had a better chance of making it to third. I yeah. would agree. Yeah. I would agree. Okay, so tough you, decision there for for Coach Civitello, right? You send him, he I gets think, thrown out. And I think you got to let Brendan hit here. You don't want to do this with two outs. I think you got to. So that draws the mound visit from the Falcons coaching staff. Patriots oh, dugout coming to life over there, chirping up a bit. Definitely need a comms channel between our executive producer, Anthony Parada, and Owen Ricicci so we can get some good quality. Uh, hey, that kid pitched a good game. He did. He really did pitch a good yeah, game. He did excellent. And that's uh, not to say that the Patriots haven't been battling with him, but uh, definite competitor and quality pitcher there for the Falcons. Kind of knew after Tuesday night their bullpen was – Obviously a little soft after their starting pitcher. Uh, Millar got injured. It was just a bad setup, but I presumed they had somebody teed up for tonight. I will tell you. And clearly oh, there, Vestal yeah, was you that know what, person. I'm, I'm probably going to draw the ire of some fan on this. But watching that game on the Tuesday. other night, on Tuesday night, yeah. I don't know who their pitching coach was. But he had, they had the big kid that pitched and mm-hmm. threw the ball and was coming yes. out of his ear. Yes, yeah, who but taught he kept him, us. But who he, taught him how to throw like that? Bob. Because that kid, that kid, if you got the correct motion with him, with that body style, you and I, he'd you throw and I hard. talked about this Tuesday Tuesday while that was going on. While, while he looks like he has a ton of untapped potential, he also kept our – our offense off balance yeah, because they were saying in, saying in general. Well, that, I know I'm just and trying then the to other say. kid came in doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, like I said, uh, you know, you, you could see that they were trying to reserve some of their staff, their pitching staff for tonight. They had two games in the week to get through and then Millar gets injured. Did they play you know. last night? Green no, Oak? no, they had the night off oh, while the they? Patriots, okay. you know, went for a, a long jog here at Patriot park three and a half hours trying to make it not say it was a marathon, but it was. <coughs> three game set, not necessarily on one team. Uh, Bob, you like to call it the Oreo cookie. Yes, sir. All right, so who do we got coming in here? Pore, the first baseman. Steps to the mound while Vestal will go to left. Krebs will come out of left and play first. So across the infield, still on the left side, Shoresman and Johnson, third and short, with uh, Harrison Brewer, who was the starting pitcher Tuesday, at second, and Jacob Krebs now at first. Safarika still behind the plate with, uh, as mentioned, Vestal in left, Dean still in center, and Lou out in right for the Falcons' defense. All right, so, so this we got be... Brendan Patience up. I think you got to let him hit. He's hit the ball pretty good tonight. Yep. I'd like to get him on, and then you get your top of the order. Although you got a left-handed first baseman, if he could bunt to first. Poré with a 3.39 ERA has made three appearances. Ten in a third innings pitched has given up 12 hits. Eight runs, the throw down, not in time, and it gets passed. Nope, nope. Coach Siv. Nope. Smart, smart, smart. You, look Cirasol where you're at back. in the order. Look where you're at in the order. The inning it is, the score. Poirier eight, eight, three. has given up five walks, has eight Ks uh, against 49 batters with an opposing batting average of Ooh. 273. So not, you know, not a bad him. slash line as a relieving pitcher. Breaking ball, yep. gets it. So You should be able to see when that's coming. Yeah, the offense yeah. is gonna have there's to adjust. No, that's, not, that's not a 12-6 falling no, off no, the he's, table. Yeah, he's not really throwing that hard either. Right, right. <clears throat> but 
Right-handed pitcher now. They've been watching the left-handed Vestal. Quick pitch. That was pitch. a good pitch there. Yep. I feel like I've seen Poiré pitch in showcase because he's got that really quick delivery. And I do remember, I think I saw him at Campbell University this last summer. And he just kind of whips at it. There it is, slapped oh, in. Oh, get down, ball. Oncoming is Lou. Not going to get to it, and that's going to be an extra okay, base. Okay, everybody stay right where you're Maybe. at. Right where you're at. Nope. Yep. There we go. All right. I'll take it any way we can get it. So a bloop single for Brendan Patience to fill up the bases with one out. That puts Cirasol on third and Phones out at second. And, and fin makes. finally one dropped yes. for him there. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. Lou's been all over it all day. He's been doing a fine job, but that one just got in there as Bloom now is going to step up. So we got one out. This is what you want right here. Exactly what you want. And and Brady's been uh, – or Buster's been hitting the ball hard all day. He's just hit it right at people. He's, yeah. yeah. Nothing you can two. do about that. Three fly outs to deep center field. So Find a hole out there, Buster. Inside. Oh, take one for the team. Actually, you want him to hit. Yeah. yeah. You know, I want him to hit. At this point, yeah. I don't think we want anyone taking <clears> one. <throat> we want them to hit, produce, score runs. Actually, he gets hit. That knocks a run in. So. Well, it does, but he gets a hit in the gap. Oh, oh. Fly ball tagging up are the runners. That will at least let Searsel score. Dean's going to make a big throw. Oh, 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 yep, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come yes, yes, yes. on. Oh, 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 oh. Missed opportunity. Get back, right. get back, now get we're back. we're doubled up on oh, the infield. Boy. The base runner's not paying attention. No coverage at first. So patience is going to get back safely. But unfortunately, Phones was not looking behind him to notice that God. patience was closing in on him. They were doubled up at second. I still, <sighs> still not sure that Hayden – realizes how close patience had yeah, got to him. Even more so, his head was down. I was watching him. Yeah. He wasn't watching anything over here. Yeah. Which is, you got to be. You gotta, Heads up. Yeah. All right. Well, Byler's up now with two, two outs. Two outs. We need this. And the Patriots dugout giving, giving Poré some business. Byler looks at a little bit of a breaking ball for a called strike. We need a pass ball right here. We, that's what we really need. You yeah. got good wheels at second base. JV at final. Base. JV pulls out the win, seven to six. Byler. They got to move. Bouncer to Johnson across. And he oh! Gets a, oh! Whoa! 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 Yep. Infield umpire is going to call that an out. So the Patriots, Nick. One run across, make it a two-run game as we head to the seventh here at Patriot Park. Pats and the Falcons in game two. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas Design Course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school Older experience son. for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the that, description uh, notes of this broadcast. State doing AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. I started the company not knowing I was ever going to start a company. Uh, so we were actually looking to build a house. We decided to build our own fence, priced out the materials, and did the job myself. If you're looking for great customer service at a great price, without jeopardizing quality, call Big Jerry's Fence. Google Fiber, customer service is straightforward billing. Absolutely. No random fees. No hidden fees. Fast, reliable internet I don't have to think about? That's the plan. Find out if your address is eligible today at fiber.google.com. Welcome back.
back to Patriot Park, Apex, North Carolina. Game two, Pats and Falcons. Start of the seventh inning, two-run game. Jen Steiner back on the mound as the first relieving pitcher. Stepping up is the right fielder, Ryan Liu. Breaking ball gets the call. It's a good pitch. That was a very good pitch by Steiner. Yeah. Good try there. Living on that outside part of the plate. Good pitch. Off speed, good pitch. Location and everything there. Another Swing good and a pick. miss. Yep. Lou goes down, gets fanned for a first out in the top of the seventh inning. Way to throw the breaking ball, gents. That, that was, was well played. I don't know if that's gents calling those or Von Dett or Coach Siv out of the dugout, but a good combination of pitches called and executed to start off the top of the seventh inning. Oh. Over wow. the head of Connor Payne into left field. That'll be ser uh, Patience now that comes up with it. So a base hit. Zero souls in right. Blooms in center. Or maybe, no, they change. No. They, no. Yeah. Well, maybe if we had water we could put on our field, it wouldn't be so damn hard. And the ball bounces like that. But we're not allowed to have water. Graham Wiener back with us in the live chat tonight. He was rooting on behalf of the Crusaders last night. But at least he's taken appreciation in Jen Steiner's hard fastball pitching in the top of the seventh inning. One out and a runner on first, breaking ball. Good play, J.J., keep that thing in front of you. So what was it the home plate umpire was? We got a pitch runner over uh, okay. first. Just can't tell who it is. Jake's all over it today. Stan Brothers checking the replay. He says that was a bad call. I told you. Uh-oh. Fly ball, right center. Fly Bloom ball. gets under it. Routine fly ball. Yep. Man, he, he really is a good outfielder. See the way he went back on that ball? Yeah. Very effortlessly. Yep. Read it perfectly. Two outs. Covers a lot of ground. Yep. That was a bad call. I knew that. Well, when you're standing 120 yards away, I mean, yeah. at least make an effort. Two out, one on. Left-handed batter, Blake Vestal at the plate. One for three. Steiner deals. Pitch. Ball off the barrel. Oh. Hey guys, I if if this wasn't so far out there, I would never say this, but Apex played Panther Creek today and won 34 to 1. Yikes. For what sport? Thank you Rob Mansfield for that. No, this is 34 to 1 today Thursday, March 21st. Last pitch gets away from Vondette. No danger there. Keeps it in front of him. Come on. Come on. Come back here. At what point do you get kind of chastised, though, for running up the score? Maybe they didn't. 34 to 1. The pitch. Gets oh, him. Oh, 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 wow. He hasn't called that all day. No. Don't tell him. 
although it is apex. I'm talking that pitch. No, 34 to 1. Yeah. I'm talking. Got it. Um, it Are it you is trying? Apex. Uh, whatever. 2 2 with two outs and a runner on first. Steiner deals. Same pitch. Ooh. Oh. 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 Ho. Ha. He ho. Her. He's going to turn around and go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mind your P's and Q's, Robert. Good pitch, gents. We're almost home. Jeez. Literally and figuratively skied out of play on the left side. That'll go over the top of the That's Patriots' dugout. That's going to be a souvenir. Out. Well, we had a interesting picture that we grabbed. Talk about souvenirs. A logo ball, at least for the starting pitcher of the Patriot. Uh, head on the the uh, game ball. So Isn't I don't that know being if that's done next week. I don't know. It was on the baseball that they gave to the Falcons. Good pitch, the off pitch gets him. Good pitch, gents. Nice pitch. Well executed by the senior infielder pitcher. Nice pitch, Jen Steiner. Being a part of that one-two punch again here. As the Patriots, for a second night in a row, are going to look to walk it off in the seventh inning at Patriot Park. Can't make this stuff up, folks. If you're watching in the live stream, thank you for joining us. Don't go anywhere. The game isn't over yet. We are live from behind the backstop on YouTube. Patriot Baseball brought to you in part by AFPAC, the Apex Friendship Patriots Athletic Club. Join the pack. And G Fiber, number one in service. Before it goes too far, I need to remind our viewing public that this copyrighted telecast presented by the authority of the Apex Friendship Patriots baseball team may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, while the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of From Behind the Backstop. Bottom of the seventh inning, the Patriots trailing by five. Jake Jenna, what were the Patriots down last night when we came into the bottom of the seventh against the Crusaders? They were down four runs and had to put up five to walk it off, which they did. There we go. Now they only got to put up three. Just three runs. In a half inning, Poire back on the mound. The quick pitch. So, come on, gents, right here. There is a batter for a professional team. I won't say who or whom. Who loads into that back hip super early, just for reasons like this. When you have a quick pitcher or a pitcher that does the quick pitch, and. That batter just loads into that back hip, balances like a flamingo on one leg, and then unleashes. You've seen a flamingo on one leg? There it Base is. Hit. Get down, ball. Fly ball into right field. Yes. Oncoming. Lou can't get to it. And Jen Steiner drops one in for a leadoff single go. in the bottom Atta of boy. the seventh inning. That's his third hit of the day. Nice to see uh, Jens get rewarded for all the hard work this season. And You know, he hit – he hasn't hit the ball really hard, but it's fallen in. Yep. So Where the times not. he does hit the ball, it's been right at people. So, this you're right. This is a reward for continuing to hit the ball hard. Let's go, JJ. Stay aggressive. Bondet one for three. Huge hole in right center. Very big. Out near the double L's of baseball on the windscreen. You can't see it from the center field. Don't worry, Anthony. Don't cut away from this. Everybody wants to see this Hollywood. All right, here we go. MLB angle. Here we go. It right is here. pretty. Hit that fastball. Oh, go. Up, up, up. Good read, Jens. Pass ball for Safarikas is going to let Jens Steiner advance down to second. Good read. Good read. There's Steiner kicking up some dust as he gets into second base. Thank you, Owen Ricicci. 
All right, here we go. This is looking like a broadcast, people. Right over, right, right to the double L's. Poire, quick pitch. Oof. Ooh, on no. that lets it go through. Four. What in the hell is this? Hey, I, I, don't, I, don't, no. I don't think he could have hit that pitch. Well, you could have pulled it in the left. Or hit the bench. That's okay. Two balls, one strike, no outs, and a runner on second. J.J. Vondetta at the plate with Jen Steiner out on the base path. The fastball up and away. 2-2. <laughs> 3-2. Two, 3-1. Two. Two, Holy cow. Just say a bunch of numbers. Eventually, I get it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of day, Bill. Whew. It's You're been a right. long week. Been a hell of a month this week. Long, long week. Come on, find a hole. Corey deals off. There you go. And Vondette works there a There you go. There you go. Let your tying run on first. So what do we got? We got nobody out. Well, you got to let him hit. Connor Payne now going to step in. I believe 0 for 3 on the who's, day. Who's One. running here? Is Barrett. Barrett low. Good. I don't know. I don't bunt him. I want him to hit. Connor Payne. I want him to hit. And I want um, Cannon to hit. Hey, look, Connor's due here. I think uh, yes. similar situation yesterday. Going into the bottom of the seventh. Hadn't had a hit on the day. Came up. The problem is, is your tying run is on first. But I still want him to hit. Yep. And there's nobody out, so take that chance here. Payne comes in to today, to today at batting 500. Cause no really, small feat. All he's got to do is find a hole out there. Huge hole, right center. Patriots dugout, very active. Payne shows the bunt, yes. pulls it back. Poirier's first pitch, way outside. Here we go, here we go, nobody out. Yeah, I'm with you, Graham, on this one at least. Those baseballs are probably made in Cambodia, oh, if go. not China. Lays it down oh, on nice the left punt. side. That's a base hit. Played. That's a base hit, all right. All right, Connor all right, Payne. all right. Connor Payne with a perfectly executed bunt on the left side of the mound, catches Dylan Johnson way out and unable to get to it, as does Poré, kind of breaks Clean to the bag. Yep. That was a terrific, terrific, played terrific, terrific. small ball opportunity that the Patriots are executing mid-season, where last year we didn't see it from them until, gosh, you know what, what? the give conference the tournament. For calling that. He's doing a terrific job, job, Coach Civitello. Give Civitello credit for calling Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know what, you've got a guy up that does hit the ball, that does drive the ball, but not the first pitch, he did it the second pitch. And it was a well-executed play. Very well done. I think we might get a pitch runner here for Connor. Put some speed with the uh, winning run there at first. 26. Is that uh, Santa Bria? Santa Bria, yeah. There we go. Brown or Santa Bria? The, the yeah, numbers. Santa Bria's, Santa Bria's wearing Cole's jersey, 28. Well, I thought I saw 26. Yeah, but that's not Santa Bria. Okay. I don't think. All right, Jason Brown, let's get our facts straight for the viewers at home. I know everybody's parents who tune in, of all the players, what they appreciate now? We don't know, but they appreciate it when we get our details correct. From what we can see, Jason Brown on first, Barrett Lowe out on second. I'll throw him out. With Jen Steiner. <laughs> Here we go, Bob. Bryce Cannon at the plate. Come on, Bryce. Hit a fastball here. Ryan Poire deals or, or in the not. dirt, making Safaricus work here late in the seventh. Look, hit. we got nobody out. One, Bryce yeah. can afford to be, be yeah. selective here. Yeah. Absolutely. Hit his pitch. There's yeah. nobody out. Now there's one ball. There's no room for him on base. The so. Patriots with the old Cleveland, or I'm sorry, Atlanta Tomahawk. tomahawk no, going. it's the Braves. Yeah, I correct that. Oh, 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 drops in right in front of Lou. That's going to be an RBI single for Bryce Cannon. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
One run game now with no outs in the bottom of the seven. Okay, hey, 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 again. hey, I got something for you guys right here. Squeeze bunt. There's nobody out. Nobody's out. They're not thinking of that. Right, and yep, and nobody's out. Yep. And so you score run. it, he's there. Yeah. And you're winning runs there. Just saying. Your first priority is get that run in from third. Yes. Even our, yes, yes, yes. Even one of our new viewers, hopefully a subscriber, Graham Wiener, agrees with that bunt a moment ago. And Torre finds that outside. Look at look where the third baseman's playing. Okay, Very first tight base. to the bag, and you got base Dylan in. Johnson playing well, tight. But, but a big gap on the left side, I think, is what you're trying to point that out, That run Bob. needs to score. Poirier can't find the outside that time. That's one ball, one strike, I'm no outs, base is loaded. Uh-huh. Patriots need to drive the ball through the infield, trying to stay away from a force tag at home. Popped up. Oh, 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 oh. That'll be a tag up opportunity. Low at third. He's going to tag. Got to get go. there. Got to get there. Got to the get. The throw is going into third. Oh, oh what are you? The runner scored though. The runner scored. So one out, two outs. I'm sorry. Double play. Runner scores. All right. And that was Jason Brown diving head first aggressively to third, trying to get around a tag and hold on to third base. A sacrificial effort on his behalf. That leaves Cannon at first. You know what? A pinch runner for Cannon here. You're talking to the wrong person. So a double play quickly now. We're a tie score in the bottom of the seventh. Poire with, oh, nice hit oh, right and a him. third out. Right, Adam. That's all right. Yep. All right. So a tie after seven. Why not? Yes. When we still Why got not? one more, huh? The natural stadium lights are in our favor right now. You thought we were going to get out of here in under three hours. Yeah, I did. And we're at 227 on the broadcast clock for what that's worth. So a close one. Another nail biter, folks. Stay tuned as we go to an extra inning. At least the Patriots and the Falcons in Apex. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas Design Course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. Google Fiber, customer services. Straightforward billing? Absolutely. No random fees? No hidden fees. Fast, reliable internet I don't have to think about? That's the plan. Find out if your address is eligible today at fiber.google.com. Patriots, Falcons, extra innings on a Thursday night in Apex. High score after seven, seven apiece. Sevens are wild. Lucky number seven for which team? The Falcons or the Patriots? Bob's trying to scramble to get his headset I'm, on. I'm going Homer. You're going Homer? Yeah, I'm going to go Homer. I think that makes all of us here in the booth. Steiner back on the mound. Breaking ball, woof, past the thigh. Just a little bit inside. The second baseman, Harrison Brewer. They got 8-9-1 here. I, I, that gent should come with the heat. Ripped into left, oncoming. Unable to come up with it, but a diving effort by Brendan Patience. Good try, good try. That's all right. Hey, there's well nothing wrong played. with that. Nothing wrong with that. So Brewer, a leadoff base hit, and Brendan Patience gave everything he got as an athlete out there. Had he come up with that, that would have been a roar. 
well, just as impressive as the effort was how quickly he got up. Oh, he yeah. Got yes. the ball Bounced in. Up. Got the ball in, held the runner for a single. Yep. Looked like a football player, if I didn't know better. Looked like a quarterback. Yeah. He knows the clock is Gotta running throw down. First chance. Fastball. Steiner One. takes it nicely, flips it. Yep. yep. Gets the force at first. Hey, we also got to throw the ball at first base. As a pickoff. Just not to get the guy out. Just to get the other team thinking, like these guys throw over here. Would they throw over on Brendan one at one, one time? There's four the times challenge for Jake Jenna now. Before when we come back from vacation, Jake, curious to see the attempted pickoff stat. Is this Krebs? Year to date or for the season? Because I think the number, what Bob's implying, is the number's a little on the low side, mm. relatively speaking. Steiner deals inside. Good pitch. Hammered. Gets the call strike. The hands. Really good pitch right there. Throw it again. I'll tell you what, he's going to pull the ball. He is a good hitter. He is. Graham is checking in from Mount Airy, Pennsylvania. Good try. Good try. Steiner tries with the breaking ball. Come on, gents. Patriots looking to do chance. another walk-off. Deals ah. tries to get it outside again, but he can't find it. Two balls, one strike, one out. Ten hits be, by the Falcons, 12 by the Patriots that so would far. That be the worst thing in the world to walk him here. Krebs is two for three. Yeah, he's a hitter. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't have a pro. I like where Jens is. He stay out there. Yeah. If he walks him, he walks him. Because now you got to force. Yeah. Krebs is in on the plate, so Krebs he's looking pulls to pull. The ball. It. That's a run. And he's looking to pull it to the right, right side. Byler and Cannon need to be on their toes. Skies it on the left side. Well, we got to have that. It's out of play. Pain and patience. Going to run out of room. Good hustle, boys. The ball goes down in the bullpen Good for hustle. the Patriots. Good hustle. Right on it. Our pleasure, Graham. That's what we're here to please and provide great baseball broadcasts out of central North Carolina, out just outside of Raleigh. We're about 20 minutes, Breaking 25 ball here. minutes. Breaking ball here. Southwest of the city. Has he thrown anything but that? Fastball. Full count now. The payoff. Oh, Hold and the left foul. is going to be just foul. Whoa. That was close. Krebs. Hunting on the right field foul line. Actually, that was a good piece of hitting because that was a good pitch. Oh, he's a good that hitter. That ball was down. He's that ball was down around his ankles. That was a good. That was a good pitch. Come back with the fastball on the outside part of the plate. JJ's under his hands again. Krebs a uh, debt. Uh, Right at him. Good job. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Great piece of hitting by the Longwood commit, Jacob Krebs. Nothing to be ashamed of right there. He he did exactly what a left-handed batter needs to do and try to work the pull side into right field, unfortunately, right at Bryce Cannon, who was perfectly this guy's hit positioned. The ball too. Jake, what's this guy done today? One for three. Okay. Trying to give Jake a little break. He's on brain overload. Fly ball. Got to have it. Searsoul under it. Makes it. Comes up with it. Wow. <laughs> what an amazing play. Owen Searsoul falling down as he catches the ball in right field just on the foul line. Whether that would have been fair or foul, we don't know, but it was caught by the junior left-hander. And the Patriots now with an opportunity for a back-to-back walk-off here at Patriot Park two nights in a row. Is it possible? Can it be done? Will it happen? Stay tuned. It's all coming right here from behind the backstop.
Patriots Falcons extra innings as we go in the bottom of eight at Patriot Park. You've heard me talk about it coming up on April 6th, starting at 11 a.m. and again at 2. Four teams, two games, one great cause. Come out to Patriot Park and support the UNC Lineberger Comprehensive Cancer Center, Pediatric Cancer and Research. An extremely great cause with Mr. Outrageous Food Truck will be here to serve all of your concession needs. It'll make you drool. And if you haven't already, you have a middle schooler, sign them up right now for the spring break baseball camp. But right now we're going to go to live action. Come on, Brendan. Brendan Patience. Get Lines over one over his yes. head. That's a base hit. That a one boy. Pitch. First pitch, base hit, lead off for Brendan Patience. That's a way to go right there. Hey, second pitch, not the first pitch. Not the first pitch. You gotta think Siv's gonna have a bunt here. You do? You know, Siv's, he seems, he's been committed to uh, getting the runner in scoring position. Right. Eileen Jenna says they have a van full of fans from Long Island watching. <laughs> They're down there shaking their heads. No, no. She's making stuff up. Eileen, you got called out. We have an inside line, but uh, <laughs> whatever. It sounded down. good. I like it. I'll go with it. Eileen, I'm with you. I won't listen to those other people. What do they so, know? So here, here's the thing. If you're the Green Hope coach – you're, you're calling for the bunt. Everybody's aware of what's going on. But you don't do anything till the second pitch. And you don't show it on the first pitch. No. Don't show it. Don't yep. do anything. Yep. Don't do anything on the first pitch. You're up there. You look like you're up there to hit, but you're taking. Falcons you look like they up. might be doing a pitching change, if I'm understanding what's playing out here. Number 14 coming in. And you got Byler coming up next. But – but you don't do anything on the first pitch. Just stay no. with what you do. Don't steal. Don't steal. Mason the Dean, the center fielder. Pass ball. Or a pass ball. A pass ball changes everything. Right, right, right. Then you go back to doing what you do. Yeah. Jake? They're Just bring, bring keep me honest. Is that Mr. Mason Dean? It is, yep. You're right. Excellent. I'll take a quick Ooh. look at his slash line. Mason Dean with three appearances. He has a 3.5 ERA. And where else does he show up in here? Trying my quickest. 12 innings pitched. Giving up 15 hits, 7 runs, 5 walks, 5 Ks. 58 batters faced with that slash line, just to put a, some context on that. Am I reading that right? We have 13 hits today. You're right. How many hits do we have this week? Oh, well, I'll tell you, I'll since tell you, last Friday. Since Friday, it's over 60 hits. That's wow. four games. It's more. I mean, you no, can... from last Friday to today. Oh yes, I know. Yep. I'm saying, but it's, that's sixty some hits. Yeah, you could spread that out over the course of probably half a season for some teams. Panther Creek. <laughs> Dude, come on. Well, yeah. I was kidding. You be, yeah, but now you're gonna have to hope that they don't. It, you know. Yeah, they don't hand you the, that. Your what lunch. like Apex is gonna do? Hey, they're undefeated. Well, that's because they're pitching. They have really good pitching. They do. They have an extremely competitive team this year, but the Subway Series that's coming up after spring break between the Patriots and the Cougars, that's going to be one to not want to miss. That's one for the ages. A lot of contentious uh, rivalry last year as the uh, Patriots right, dropped both regular season games to the Cougars. Then in the conference playoffs. Can I say it? One as they went on a three game winning streak and right, found their way we go. into a championship. All right, back Game to on. live action. Easy on first. Easy Buster on Bloom, first. 0 for 2. He's been hitting it right at him. Breaking ball, the runner goes oh, head there. first, and he's there well in time. Hey, so you got no outs. Yes. 
Yes, I agree. Do it again. We got Eileen Jennett and Graham Wiener talking about moving from Pennsylvania to North Carolina. It is absolutely gorgeous, I'm sure Graham. the Jennas would love to have her. I was have hoping her? What are you something? talking about? Now the Falcons oh, dude, coach going to make. Are you hoping for dark? Well, I don't know. He <laughs> might have saw – maybe he away. saw something he doesn't like, though, coming from Dean, right? I don't know. Maybe uh, – They're probably talking about this one here. You have Bloom at the plate 0 for 2, but he has been – you know, the walk-off last night, he's been productive in the lineup, you know, throughout the season. It kind of reminds me of the movie Major League. You know, yeah. what are you talking about on the mound? Well, so-and-so needs a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so-and-so yeah. has the wedding list. <laughs> you know, that's what I was just thinking. And I watched it the other night in the hotel, so that's what I was just thinking of. I can't Probably believe that thought. you found it. <laughs> I was just on. Some thought so -so here, too. To My mentor, Harry Doyle. Yeah. Harry Doyle. <laughs> and uh, Tough with the runner on second and no outs, right? I mean, you, you're in a situation where you don't have the force at third. Anthony. But really, no good options because even if you put Bloom on first, oh what no, you got no good two, three, four, yeah, no outs, and a runner on second. He just did that again. Did you see that? What's that? Well, he's just waving and saying hi. Yeah. No, I think he's something telling. Something with the music. Yeah, telling uh, Jason music. to yeah. cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pile. I know. Right. All right, here we go. Off that base. Mason Dean. Oh. oh, don't hit my camera. Ooh. Down the right field line, out of play. Let's Come on, see Buster. If, see if Buster can do it two nights in a row. It's very possible. Very possible when you have. That might make him player of the week. Put it I'm, this way. you got patience out on second. He's got wheels all day long. He does. Bill, I know you said you're not superstitious, but apparently the wife is because I just got yelled at. Uh, Safarikas is earning. Do I dare ask why you got yelled at? Because uh, I, I, you know. I, I said it. You can't you can't say the, you can't say it out loud. Yeah, well, I'm gonna yell at you too. So, <laughs> but all I right. got Buster's yep. been hitting the ball hard all day here. Come on, let's go. Big hole in the outfield. Couple of them. Dean. Oh my God. I don't know if that's an intentional off speed, but it's definitely off speed relative to the prior pitching. It's a good thing the T wasn't there because the ball landed on top of it. It would have stayed there. Yeah. It was so slow. But, again, we saw this, you know, uh, Tuesday night, and it did throw off the batters. Oh. Well, Dean knows. Buster's hit three towering fly balls to him today. <laughs> he, he does yeah. know very well. So we got nobody out. If he can get one and get that runner to third. Now across the outfield, you got Vestal, the starting pitcher, and left. Krebs, who usually starts at left, is in center. And he was at first at one point, and Lou. Come on, base hit here. Back over and right after being a reliever. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Boy, he was swinging oh. out of his shoes yes, there. Yes, he was. He wanted that one. Yes, he did. His eyes were as big as saucers. He wanted that one. Byler now, one out. You trying to make something happen here? You got Steiner on deck. You got some good wheels on second. I make yeah, something I happen. Don't, I don't surprise. know why. Uh, Third baseman's not paying attention. Right. Just that's I'm just saying. A little slow roller on that side. No. No. Where no. you want to go? Fake bunt steal. Well, don't, that, that assumes that assumes you can. But what I'm instigate. saying is, what I'm saying is, you won't watch when the pitcher comes wind up. Watch him. He's, yeah. He's he's not. Yeah, yeah. I I, I got you. Brandon Speed will beat him to yep. the bag. Yes. Grounder on the left side. It is going to get. Come on, Brady. Beat it. Plenty of time for Brendan Patience. And then there's that. <laughs> and then there's that. We'll take that. Just about equivalent to what you were kind of projecting, Bob. A slow roller on the left side. Yeah. The third baseman, Shoresman, just couldn't get to it. Right. And Johnson deep in the hole. It made a nice play. He stopped the run. Stopped yeah. it. Scoring. He absolutely did. And Patience able to beat out Shoresman over, back over to third. So, so, so first and so third with one is, out. The play here is the base runners do not need to get big leads. Steiner three for four. He had a very productive at bat in his last trip to the plate. Tomahawk chop. Yeah. Oh boy. 
Runners going down, and can you run back? Yes. Actually, you know what he was going to do? He was going to stop. I know. If the, I if saw the him stand was, up. He was going to stop, right. which is smart. Right. Very smart by Brady right there. Yeah. I don't so. know if that was a play that was called or. I think he learned it at Apex Wiffle. <laughs> they do that there? They do everything there. That's an exciting bit of uh, small ball, if you ever saw it. Go look at it. Get Bounced. over. Oh, oh right shit. back at him. So the force over at first, that's going to make it two outs, runners first, or rather second and third. So patience has to hold still. Ah. Even with patience speed, I don't think that as soon as Dean let no, go of the ball, been out. he would have been tagged. Would, back he would have been out. He made the right play. Unless, of course, you could have spooked Poray at first, right, on the transfer right. or something crazy. It would not have been an expected outcome. So Vondette now steps in. Right. One for three. It's his turn to make Come something on, we need happen. It here. Two outs. Big hole between the short walk-off and run on first, uh, third. Ooh. Oh. Okay. God. Well, you know where that strike zone is. When he was catching, did he say something to the umpire? I don't know. I don't think so. He doesn't usually do that. That's what he talks him up. Is what he does. Brown knows. Because there's a huge hole there. Get Fly out. 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 Sky's one into the woods. Off behind the Falcons dugout on the stay first back, base side. Stay back. Relax, hump. They're just cheering. I think in this case, with the with the reduced velo, and it looks like Von Dett has done it. He's cheated up in the box, but he's gonna have to protect. Ooh, thank goodness. I was afraid. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I, yeah. You just you just can't trust the umpires. No. With that. One ball, two strikes, two outs, and the walk-off run on third base. We are in the bottom of the eighth inning, one extra inning. Good, good, Bonnet good. Bonnet battles, good. protects on a high fastball. Umpire's telling the players to get back in the dugout. Some of them are spilling out past the padded screen. Oh, well, maybe he just needs new more balls. But he was kind of waving. I couldn't tell if he was saying back up or... Or what? Got something going on over there. Come on, JJ. I'm allowed JJ to say Von that. JJ at the plate. A one, Stay two. back on it. A one-two with two outs and the walk-off run on third. Got the tomahawk chalk, chalk, ugh, chop going. Get Hard, there, there it right. is. That's it. There it is. That's All the right. game. So the Patriots, two days in a row. Four games in a row win. Two nights of a walk-off at Patriot Park. They take and sweep the Falcons in the regular season. Here at home behind Apex Friendship High School. A tough loss for the Falcons who have battled all afternoon. But the Patriots come out the victors after eight innings with a second walk-off, two nights in a row. Last night here against the Crusaders, tonight against the Falcons. We'll be off all next week as it is spring break here in the Carolinas and Wake County. But when we come back, the Patriots the following week are going to have some of their toughest competition they'll face all year as they go on a Subway Series with Apex High School Cougars. For Brian Vondette, Bob Flanagan, Jake Jenna, Jason Rodriguez,